And we're live! Hello everybody out there, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday Edition, uh, where we play new games on classic consoles, mm -hmm. and in particular today, obviously the 2600, which has tons and tons of games, <laughs> and usually on Wednesday... We play games that we've already played on the show more in depth, try and complete them or get high scores or stuff. But today, I just got to catch up. There's too many. <laughs> there's too many games being released. <laughs> so it's a gotta, good thing, man. It is. It's great. The community's huge. Everybody's like really enthusiastic about making lots of cool new games. So it's like, no, we gotta we gotta keep catching up and playing new games. So it's an all work in progress uh, games cool. today, and we have four. Usually, it's like one game, right? Yeah, that we play just. Well, we well, we've been doing this high score thing for the last few Wednesdays that I've been here. Yeah, which is which is a fun. It's a certain vibe. It is. You have to hone in on exactly what to do in this one game, and it's like, how do we get the most points out of a a particular level and strategy and everything but this it's discovery it's all cool. new it's it's just having fun and exploring new games and it's like a mixed bag you say we have quite a few different yeah, ones to we've play got with four games today oh that's fun uh, we've got uh monkey king which just was recently renamed from climb the tree Okay. Monkey I, King's a much catchier name. I was going to say, I think I'd, climb the tree. I'd much, much rather be a king than a dude just <laughs> climbing a tree. <laughs> exactly. <I'm> just... <laughs> so it's, it's a, a good name change. Uh, I've got uh, Lost, Dun Lost Dungeon Quest Apshai. Uh, we've got Orb. And we've got Bounce as okay. well. I, I'm feeling like the Lost Dungeon, that sounds like the coolest to me, just from the title. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know, we'll find as out. Just pure title I, we'll, alone. We'll see once we get in there. But Yeah, I, Darcy likes doing that on, on the Friday show. He goes right off title. He's like, that is the best title. That sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to welcome all the new people. There's a lot bunch of yeah. new names. You were saying that just before the broadcast you're seeing some of the names yeah definitely some old friends too it's yeah. like we got a lot of people on stream today which is great yeah it's great it must be the timing because a lot of people in europe were saying this is great for europe it's 8 p.m yeah you know they're finished dinner it's time to watch some video games <laughs> online and also you know in north america it's it's fine it's morning on the west coast totally. early afternoon on the east coast can't always do it at 11 but hey we're here today uh, Thrust26 is in here, Iceposta, Mr. Fix, Arena Foot. Foot, oh, who else? Uh, cool Crab. Down. Cool Crab, Deanoid Games, both, uh, Cool Crab, we're gonna do a, a game of his today. Oh, sweet, I'm looking forward to that. Which yeah. one? Uh, his is Monkey King, actually oh, the first, first one up, okay, so he's sweet. lucky, he gets his right up the top. And all, oh, Impaler74, and all the people who... Are watching but the, not typing. The lurkers, that's me is, on most things. <laughs> yeah, you're just watching. I don't need to say anything. Everybody's got it covered, which is fine. And also, I want to give a big thanks to. We have three subscribers now. Really? And they are Mr. Fix, who's a new subscriber recently, Soundtrack underscore 78, and Jeffrey2123. Amazing. And how you subscribe is just a little button there on somewhere i have no idea it's on, <laughs> it's on your screen somewhere and you what what happens is if you can either donate dollars or whatever but there's a way to subscribe for free donate for free and it gives money to us and takes no money out of your pocket it's oh. if you're subscribed to amazon prime which i think almost everybody in the u.s is up canada up in canada it's not as great of a deal you don't get as much for it so not a lot of people have it up here but in the u.s a lot of people subscribe to it and if you every month you get a free click on a twitch stream that you can go yeah i like this stream and you click subscribe and it gives them a little bit of money Oh, wow. And it takes no money out of your pocket. So it's like Amazon giving money from themselves to the streamers to support the streamers, which is awesome. And so we have three of those. That's and amazing. I'm, I'm amazed that people love this channel. 
so much that they will do that. Well, it's, it's that a they'll... testament to you, man, for like putting in the work and keeping this going. I mean, it's not easy. I just get to sit down, <laughs> like play games. It's the yeah. Being a guest is the best, but you actually do all this work. So well, it's, it's... I got to put it. I do have to do some behind the scenes. It looks like a lot of just playing games, right? Yeah. But I got to research these games, do all the write-ups for them, actually create graphics yeah because a lot of these games don't have like a little box art i did not know graphics. that man god damn the lost dungeon quest of apshai had one is well if you're here before the the stream on the waiting screen wait it's coming it's coming yeah um that one's done because you can see it's like really nice oh yeah lost dungeon quest of apshai um but the other ones i have to do a screen cap sometimes give it a title if it doesn't have a title screen um and also i'd like to just thank everyone who watches this oh, show yeah. and we i uh, we've been doing this for i don't know since february so like half a year now damn and it's been a totally fun and so much support from people watching people watching later on youtube uh the comments in atari age on the forums people are like uh, messaging me with hey you should try this game on the tr stream or, or try my game here put my game on the stream and uh, oh wade rain i think you saw him I yeah think, yeah I'm, wade oh you're one developing app shy excellent welcome we'll be playing that one second right after monkey king so cool. stay tuned uh six months yes arena foot dude arena six. foot is there he's, he's like, on it he's, he's the like, record he's, keeper <laughs> he's just typing he's like this is the high score he's like this is how long it's been six months <laughs> yeah according to my records <laughs> Support comes from doing things right. Well, we try and do oh, things as best Christ. we can and make it enjoyable, make it look nice. Like we've got, oh, you're almost underneath your name, but well, let me just, <laughs> so we've got let me the just, names. So, you know, we go. you know who we are, which is nice because, you know, you jump into a stream, you're like, who are these dudes? I don't know yeah. their names. So I thought that would be helpful. Um, yeah. So I just really wanted to put that out there. I, I said it in... Um, my uh, Facebook and Instagram post, I made a post say, thanking everyone. I just wanted you to do it on stream as well. I just want to thank everyone for tuning in and supporting us through these first six months. And it's just been amazing like better than i ever thought well, i want you to the keep key. going james <laughs> well, just, so, do so I. I can keep showing up and playing that's games. right <laughs> sit down and playing some games uh yeah it's it's fun and i will we will be continuing to do it because <laughs> it's it's not so much work that it's like interfering because obviously i'm not getting any money yeah like a little bit obviously people are supporting it not in, enough to... in true homebrew fashion. That's right. It's, <laughs> it's true. Like the people who are pro programming it are totally doing it for the love of it. And, and the they're show... not making money. Like, no. They're not selling in the hundreds of thousands of copies. They're selling in the dozens to the most successful one, maybe hundred or hundreds. Yeah, but it's usually dozens. Or they just give it away for free. They just post it. Yeah. Because it's 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 trouble trying to get it on cart and, and it's a lot of work to you know, do all the artwork and and that's not the point. I mean, it's so oh, cool. Tiki Dank. Oh, people are yeah, he's just, coming out of the lurking. Uh, Tiki and Dank stuff. loves the show. Thank you, Tiki. Thank you. And Thrust Twenty Six is the only stream I follow. Oh, nice. Um, uh, we have some some things. Oh, I did forgot to. Uh, oh, what are, what are these things? Let's find put, out. Uh, protective things on my uh, addresses. So let's. Uh, do oh, that's a good. Uh, Good idea. That's a very important detail. <laughs> yeah, they're really they're really tiny, so probably wouldn't be able to see it anyway. But no, it's a good it's a good uh, little precaution. Yeah. So we've got two packages. Um, people oh. didn't send these to me, but I ordered them. Yeah. I, I do have a PO box that people can send stuff to. Um, I think that's on my Facebook. Yeah. I think so. If you have games or i don't know whatever you want to send <laughs> nice things not terrible things oh okay well look what i got arena foot <laughs> oh i'm gonna turn my head so that we can see this so this is the atari 2600 homebrew companion volume 2 Damn. just got in the mail so this is um brian mathern slash arena foot's uh second book and forward by daryl spice jr yes um uh, I, I know all these people now i'm <laughs> <know>. like <laughs> his names are seeping into your head so yeah he did um draconian yeah um amazing so this is 
um, Arena Foot's second book of homebrew games, which is very applicable. Yeah, to, so important. To this. Yeah, so most of these we have played, but some we haven't. So we have to, you know, look through the book and catch up. And yeah. uh, he's working steadily on more books now. He's doing a best of 2018 book. I mean, and thank you, Arena, for always putting in the work and yes. and like posting things on here and honestly <laughs> yeah. keeping this stuff. You're doing you're doing good work, man. Yeah, exactly. And and his books will always look amazing. Oh yeah, this is like I can't afford his hardcover ones, but I buy the soft cover. <laughs> the yeah. hardcover like three times as much. They're very expensive to make because you know you just you don't have a big publisher. Yeah, it's very limited. Yeah. So you, uh, so it costs more. So let's see what's in this next one. I think I know what it is. Uh, now I ordered. Oh, it is. Take a look at that. Oh my God. So let's see if how the macro does on this. Hold on. There we go. There one? we go. An Atari 2600 enamel pin. <laughs> now, somebody was offering these on the, one of the Facebook groups. Yeah. The homebrew group or the Atari 2600 um, group. And I, I saw them and I was like, oh my God, these are beautiful. They're so shiny. And it's got a six switch, a light six switch. So the same as, same as the ones we have here. And it's like in support of his daughter or something. Um, she has some disability. Oh my god! Um, so I thought, oh, these are amazing. I mean, it just—I mean, just the pins alone are great. Yeah. Oh, there. Arena Foot knows about these. Mr. Fix knows about these. Oh, ten dollars on Scott Dayton. That's where it is. Scott Dayton's Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew Facebook. Once again, group. Arena's on it. <laughs> He's on it. He knows all about it. These are like for ten dollars. These are amazing. So I had to get two of them because, you know, they're cool. So that's all the mailbag for today. <laughs> and I bought that pin. Mine doesn't have the black on the bottom. Oh, it's not black. It's silver. Um, it's just the light and yeah, what it's, it's reflecting. Sun. So it's, it is all, it does look black in certain lights, but it's all silver top to bottom. Like um, the 2600 where it's black, it's silver on here. But if you turn in different light, it looks black. Yeah, it so looks slightly. It's really cool. Super reflective. I think Erlen wanted one pen. <laughs> well, I only have two. I didn't order one for him, unfortunately. No, that's okay. That's okay. I'll, you know what? I'm going to go online and order mine later. <laughs> uh, trust. The games are listed on the Amazon page of books. Yes. There you go. So Arena Foot has put in a link for his uh, books there. So if you like... To get some more info about homebrew games he's got two books out and they have tons to catch up on okay so let's get uh let's get to the games Ooh. i think that's uh, yeah, that yeah sounds... that's the end of my list for uh taking care of uh you know homework there so let's switch over i've already got the graphic up from monkey king oh man so Let's see which joystick is it. Yeah, there you go. So I'll hand oh, that to you James. while I read out um, some information. What is it, the bottom just, one? Yeah, so just go down to the today's date. And then Monkey King. So this was actually released today. It's this one right here, This right? update, 0.81. Um, so this is fresh off the press. Ooh. Okay, actually, you can't play it by yourself. <laughs> oh, no, this okay. This is two-player only. Oh, sick. Oh, you're welcome, Marina Foot. Um, yeah, your books are great they're so detailed so they're a great resource um oh, no. so monkey king formerly climbed the tree this is by uh work in pro progress by cool crab who is watching today and oh, uh he cool. also made astronomer which was on the retron 77 james the one who's not bad playing retron 77 i'm already... losing no <laughs> you're <laughs> you're <laughs> winning i'm winning <laughs> well, for nobody's, now. nobody's winning both dying oh um, but Astronomer was very cool, and I love, we love playing that, uh, on that, uh, uh, oh, there's a one-player option to flip the left switch. Oh, well, let's, uh, there you go. Now you can play by yourself while I read out some okay, stuff. Okay, cool. There you go. Collect the uh, little dots. I see As what's going on. As in every game of the 20, 2600 games, collect the dots, avoid the bad stuff, or shoot the bad guys. There you go. Um, oh, yeah, okay, it's tight. I see what's going on. So this is was released today, this version. It was a small update. 
Um, so, you are a monkey prince. One of two children of the king of monkeys. Your father is old and wants to retire, but not before a suitable successor is chosen for the Whoa, throne. okay. The king, like his father before him, obtained the crown by participating in an ancient oh. monkey ritual. The climbing of one of the two sacred trees. I love the write-ups. Uh, this is so great. <laughs> about these games. Like, such... Like, like in back in the day where it's like blocks firing at other blocks, they've got this huge oh. write-up about this, you know, wondrous land. <laughs> and it's like, they're blocks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about imagination. That's right, man. It's, it's like D&D. It's That's like, right. all you need is a pen and paper. That's right. Um, no one knows how tall these identical trees are, and if there's a top at all. But the top of the tree is not the goal. The oh. goal is getting higher than your competitor. I see. During the ritual, two royal candidates run up one of the trees while avoiding its many branches, running faster and faster until one of the two bumps their heads one too many times. Oh. On the tree, the monkeys can find magical stones that can be used to their advantage or their competitor's disadvantage. Oh. Only one monkey can be Monkey King. Will it be you? Oh, it will be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before the game options, left difficulty is single player or multiplayer. So that's what that does. But I guess it's, it is a two-player game. Like It really is. So like, this is kind of practice, I'm I just, guess. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Getting, I'm getting my edge. So the right difficulty, A, a is three lives, B is four lives. So we have it set to B, which is default, which is always weird on the Atari. Why is B default on games? But, uh, yeah, start the game. it resets to zero every time you hit these branches. Oh, you lose all your bonus. Um, you can control by up, down, left, right. Avoid the branches. Try and get the magical stones before your competitor does. If one grabs it, it disappears for both. Oh, does it appear on both sides? Interesting. Uh, you can use the magical stones to help yourself or thwart the other monkey. A single stone is powerful, and when combined, amazing things happen. So, with the stones, one slows down time for both monkeys. Whoa. Two of them fires a powerful beam of light straight up, removes all the branches on your oh. side of the screen. So have you pressed the button yet? I haven't. I've okay. just been collecting them like an idiot. This one's <laughs> slow. Oh, okay. I got one, though. Yeah. So if you press so the right now button, it's super slow. things will slow down, which you probably don't want it anymore. Cool. Now I got these two. So which will disappear all the branches. Try that. There you oh, go. On that just side. On side. I see. Okay. Wow, there's some more tactics to this. I was just yeah. running rogue. That's that's what I find with Atari 2600 games. You you look at it, you go, that's... Yeah, you're like, What oh. is that? It's nothing. It's this little little guy climbing up a tree. But the tactics come into play. Right. And, it, and the gameplay gets so in depth what did three do let's see three uh heals your head gives you life so there right. you go oh so you start off with four yeah. lives and one oh that's a great this tactic. is gonna be tough oh. Man. oh it's gonna be okay number four makes your opponent invisible so he can't see where he's going wow okay that is dead arena foot just put tactical game he's 100 percent right oh yeah this is pure tactics i wouldn't go for that one <laughs> No, that's what I... Oh, so some might be in a difficult spot for you, but it might be out in the open for the other person. Mm. Ooh. Number five, five of them adds a branch to the enemy's tree at the height of the player. Damn, okay, so that's just like... Oh, that's deadly. So it's like, here, have a branch in your head. And number six, uh, six of them switches places with the opponent. Oh, Oh, so oh, I see. So if you're almost out of lives, you can switch, and if they have a bunch of lives, but if you accidentally hit the thing, you're you're, you're screwed. RIP, yeah. Right? Um, and the old backstory to this is, I saw this shitty phone game being advertised somewhere, and it inspired me to make an Atari version. The general idea is that you're a monkey and want to climb to the top of the tree to get your banana. However, the tree seems very tall. Will you reach the top and get the banana? or bump your head on a branch and die. So he's added a lot to the game that he saw. Oh. Okay, so let's go to two player. Yeah, because this is where it's meant to be played. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, sh sh okay, this is gonna be vicious. Oh yeah, um, I play for, oh. Oh my God, I'm already. You already hit your head. Oh, damn it. It's hard to switch when there's only one. Oh, bastard. You got it, like, oh, 
Did you get that? You got that. God damn it. Oh, finally. Oh, God. I gave myself some health, though. Oh, oh! Oh! I died. Oh, but you played too risky. I played way oh. too risky. Okay, press the button, you control that. Oh. Uh, okay, this is good shit. I like this. Oh, I can't get that one. Oh, oh. I, see, I went for it. <laughs> like, How do I get past this? What the hell? You gotta, oh my god, dude, you gotta just take it. There's... What? Oh. What is three? Three is three get is your health. life back. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, but I lost it already. So you're losing your your health because you're playing, playing so, I'm playing so rough. On the I'm, edge. I'm playing aggressive. Oh, oh. And I already died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the stones, but I died. I gotta memorize these things. So one slows down time. Okay. Dude, everyone said game bug. I say feature, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would say. It's like, eh, it happens. You gotta take That's take... cool. It's like it's going to be Maybe rough. it happened to me. I don't know. Yeah. And that's maybe you needed the two to blast it apart. Yeah. Like, you got to blast obstacles in your way. I, I'm in. Okay. Start it up. Ah. Uh, oh. That's true. If I had two, I could have... Oh, my God. I pressed the wrong direction. I could have blasted that trunk away. So I can see why slowing down might be an it. advantage later if you get, if it starts getting too fast. Mm -hmm. But if you hit your head, it slows down automatically. Oh, see, now so I lost all my stones. It didn't <laughs> matter. Oh, and then I just fucking <laughs> lost more. Oh, I have zero. I can't do anything. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, see you it's risk it, and, and it's, you lose it. Oh, all. see, and I died. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I want to turn you invisible so badly. <laughs> How many is that? That's four. Four. Yeah. Oh, like, see, but then oh, I just hit my... Damn it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my controller is... Oh, see, I lost it. I want to turn you invisible so badly. Because <laughs> that's death. Oh, it's I see death. how this is dying. I think if I just play safe, you just kill yourself. I think that's a very good point. <laughs> Gave myself some health. Uh, See, that. that was smart. That was very smart. Oh, it's getting, it's getting speedy. Ah! I slowed time down for Thank us. Thank you. And it's I advantage just, for I just, both. I just felt like we needed it. Oh, yes. Damn it! <laughs> My first loss. Why the timer at the bottom? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. There's a kind of counter. I guess uh, that's maybe overall just, just how far know we how, made. how well we're doing. Yeah, because the long. It's more like a team effort, or how quickly you killed the other guy. Yeah, that's it's right. It's like I beat somebody in X, so it's a good uh, way of keeping track of um, speed runs. Yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> or marathons. How long? Oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, I got it. You what? did. How did I good not? Work. Oh, the branch is cleared out, but. Oh yeah, you got it. Damn. Okay, so two is. I can't remember what two is. Oh my god! Oh, it, it didn't really do anything. It's so short. Oh, I was like, I was so excited. It was, it was, it was very short. Oh my god. Oh, two just clears. I two might. It's not good. Oh, it's okay. I just Thank slowed you. us down. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. I don't know about you, but uh, I just want three, three or four is. I slowed like... us down again. Thank you. Oh, I suppose you, you know, you could also Almost play like cooperatively, that. right? You could. Honestly, where that's, that's a cool uh, thing. Because yes. if we, if we wanted to, we could do it where it's like we always, Marathon. always get lives and always slow each other down. Yeah, that is true. Uh, yay, I got one. Did we get them simultaneously? Because we oh, both we have did. one. Oh, wow. Uh, so you can get them both at the same time. That was good timing. Time. Yeah. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> 209 arena foot. We made it to 209. That was the longest game for sure. That last one. Because you slowed it down a bunch of times. wonder what the max... Uh, See, that's where if you have like the are. two, you can blast it on yours and like get it, right? Oh, yeah. But there's no point. Like, using up two to get one. Uh oh, getting speedy. Let's see, 
I like to play the conservative game, but I'm playing the long game. Oh damn it! Oh, I just oh, I just I just hit a thing. But if you play conservative, I never get to do anything to you. But I win. <laughs> so you know yeah but it's like in chess we always say if you play a long complicated game you generally win but it's way less fun to watch <laughs> it's like i just slowly got our pieces and... oh my god it's getting fast neither of us have anything oh uh, yes yeah i just fucking right there. stone's still in the branches for player two. Oh yes that's the worst when there's a stone in the branch ah <gasps> oh, wasted it immediately I think we both I, did. I think we both just <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, we both lost a life. Oh, oh. oh, I got it, and you hit your head. I don't know. One more. Or two more. Oh, oh. see, and this wasted, right? Oh, yep. it's a vicious game. <laughs> vicious. You have like split second to... Ooh, one more. One more, and you're going invisible. Damn it! I know, it's such a oh, bad feeling. Oh, I hit my head immediately after. James plays in public officer mode. Who moves first loses. Oh, that one's too risky for me. It's up against a branch. Oh, I can't get that. No pain, no gain. That's true. Did I just... What? I wasn't even close to those. Uh, oh, no. Yep, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That's deadly. You'd have to switch and switch back immediately. Chances of you getting that is very small. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing. Oh. Ooh, right there. Yeah, because if you're, like, close to the edge, you have a better chance of getting in. You do. Oh, did I? I got it. Finally. I'm slowing us down. Thank you. Oh, man, I was, like, a pixel away from that. Oh, finally. Two more. Come on, I want to make him visible at least once. Fuck that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting better at those, like, one... one... One switchers? Yeah. Those are hard. I'm not doing that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> that's, that's too risky. Oh, did you lose it? No, yes. I just shot the... One more. One more. Oh, my God. Oh, you shot a... Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Oh. oh, now we're in trouble. Oh, oh see, I just turned <sighs> into... Oh. Okay, one... Oh. Last game. Who will be the monkey king? Um, so far, so <laughs> so far, far <me>. James. <laughs> but not... But I'm playing a defensive game, though. That's right, I'm so aggro. Yeah, you're like, I gotta kill the other monkey. Kill, kill, kill. Yay. Definitely a two-player game. Oh my god, I just yeah. blasted my face. And He was thinking, in the forums he was talking about, thinking of making an AI, but it's just not enough space. Yeah, and it would also be more fun, I mean, to play against another person. It is, yeah. I don't I don't know if a, a computer would be as fun. I guess it, it could be, depending on how you program the AI. You can make him, like, so super amazing or messes up a lot Fuck. Okay, this is gonna get really hard really soon i wouldn't think it'd be too hard to make an ai um but oh my god but he i think he's just running out of space and he wanted to keep it at a certain um size what <laughs> oh my god I yeah, okay that... i did it i did yeah. it that. Oh, that's all I ever wanted. That's all we <laughs> need. Okay, I, sl twice. I slowed us down. Oh, thank you. Oh, but I died. Oh. <laughs> See, I just played for tricks, but I lost. <laughs> okay, one more. I was so excited. I was you like, were... I was waiting for when it would get really fast and the screen and then was you full. Went it. Yeah. And I did. I think I did hit on that, but it was hard to tell because I was invisible. <laughs> I think I did hit my head on a branch. Oh, I just went for it and died. Ooh, those one frame ones, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Oh. Oh, you went for it too risky. Yeah. Yeah, the tactics are stay at the top. Oh. 
this, this but you're is... still ahead. I'm because I'm such a <laughs> maniac with Monkey King. Yes. See? Oh it? yeah, I, I went for it too, but oh damn it! Oh, I slowed us down. Okay. I was like, this yeah, it's bad for both of us. It's too bad you couldn't uh, program it independently, so it slows down just yeah, your side. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be interesting. Oh, so cool crab says, so should there be more stones or should um, this speed up slower? Um, if anything, maybe a touch more stones? Like Yeah. But they're pretty good. I'd say the stones, I'd say could like the ramp up could be a little bit slower. Especially, oh, yeah. Especially, the speed, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because you can slow stuff down. Yeah. But... Yeah, because you almost want to slow it down immediately because it jumps up so quick. Yeah. Yeah, I would make it a little bit more gradual. But I, I, it's fun with the stones, man. Hey, it's... Zero is cool. That's a new hey, name. Yeah, man. Welcome. Um, and, and the stones, maybe a touch more often, but they're, yeah. pretty, they're pretty good. I'm, they're... I'm not, like, bored waiting for a stone. No, I'm definitely more like, not. I'm more like, oh, I'm sitting at the top risking it all, like, oh, my God. And I didn't encounter that double branch since that one time yeah, maybe was it was the, a bug it was it probably was but we're gonna call it a feature yes that's what we'll call it's it it's so seldom that it's like well you better have yeah. your powers ready that's it's, correct you're, you're gonna get yourself taken out um but it's pretty Dude, great this is as a it cool is. game no i that's yeah. like a tiny little uh i was i did not know if monkey king was gonna be good and this is <laughs> neither amazing. did i it's surprising i i, I included it because i i I love two-player games. There's so few two-player games for the 2600 that it's it's a treat when the, when you have head-to-head -head, um, games on here. I bet you the programming would be a nightmare, but it would be cool if, if it just slowed you down and sped up. Yes. There. But I think I think it's probably the whole screen's got to go like crazy. Yeah, he's and, moving the whole screen. Yeah, because I mean, I don't know how you would program it so that half of the screen is faster than the other. If you could do it, though, that would be the best yeah that would be that would be a big addition if you could possibly do that oh thrust has a cool idea he said some second layers of obstacles like falling coconuts Ooh, yeah slowly falling ones yeah so that yeah. it's like you can get around them by moving up and around that would be really oh, good oh yeah that would be really good of course there would be a possibility of four characters on one line so you get into oh no you could make it uh you could make it very easily a ball character yeah um, rather than a sprite, yeah, do it, please. Yes, that would, that would be, be a cool, really addition. good addition. Because then you have to like move down and dodge it. Because you can move yes. up and down, right? So it would be pretty. That would be really good. Or and and maybe one of the power ups you can throw a coconut. Yeah. At the other person, but you'd have to rearrange the um, the power ups. But and then your and your two awesome. would kill your coconut and the thing because you yeah you could it, fire it because it's the thing is when you hit the thing it kills everything forward so yep. that was where that would the two would be a, even a bigger advantage because I never really it felt would. a need to use that no no it felt it, like slowing down or like the extra health is smart yeah so the two could be against the coconut yeah and could, also and the branches. Yes, yeah, and the branch, clear the branches. It too. just clears everything in the yes. path, but that would make it so that it's much harder for the other player. So if you, that, I would almost want to stay on two then, just in case a coconut <laughs> fell, so I could just... Depending on how fast it moves and how hard it is to dodge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's going to try the coconut. Oh. That's awesome. No, but, but <laughs> Crab, man, this is a very, very, very cool game. Oh, yeah, that thumbs up for that one. Um, it really surprised me. Yeah. On the complexity of of it. Uh, um, what about the power ups? What did you? The slowdown was good. Slowdown's great. Essential. It's essential. Oh yeah, and it's um, nice that it's the first one, and it it, yeah. it is cool that it is both of you in some ways. It would be neat. It like is, the the yeah. ideal most competitive version would be just yours, but it, I always <laughs> there's something fun about being like Merry Christmas. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's for me, but it's also for you. Yeah, it's like okay, we're, we're we got a second, and, and I like that we could you could almost play the game focused more you could compete or you could do it as in like let's see the highest score we could get yeah and then you're like okay every time you get one you like slow down and then if someone has less health he gets the three yeah you know you can kind of oh, give it to them yeah no, this or, could be played cooperatively like you don't get 
the boat power up. You leave it for the other person. Exactly. And then it's like, and because because it's when one person dies, you lose. So if yep. you went for high score, yes. it would be different than like who dies first, which is, a, yep. I, that's why I love your idea. Because at first we were like, what's that counter at the bottom? But, but it's, th- it works for, yeah. for co-op mode. Because if you want it. Co-op mode is just deciding to play co-op mode. Totally. It's, there is friendly fire in this game. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you can use it or not use it. That's that's really cool. Um, the heat, the 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 firing thing that's going to be very good for the coconut. Yeah, if that's I didn't added. find it necessary at all for brands. No, not at all. Because it's just not worth it. It's you're way better off going for the extra health or potentially yes. invisible. Yeah. So the health, obviously, that's a great huge bonus. Making the opponent invisible. I wouldn't mind because I had one where I had four, I had full health, and yeah. then I gave myself a health and didn't give me extra. Mm-hmm. It would be nice oh. just to have one or two extra on top of the normal, so that way I can kind of like, at the beginning, give myself like a bit of a buffer, because I was like, I was a bit disappointed. I'm like, oh, too bad. It didn't. But did it maybe give you five, but it only showed four? Oh, I don't know. Because that's crab, a possibility. Crab would know. Yeah. I, I might have just been, and I, I could have screwed up too. It's very possible. But I'm pretty well, sure that I had four, I gave myself a health, and it didn't give me five. Right. Because there is only so much you can display on the bottom. That makes sense. On an Atari. So. Or even just one extra would be nice, and just in case you yeah. want to like power up. Yeah. Um, five is adds a branch to the enemy's tree at the height of the player we never even made it to no five. we never it's did too hard th- yeah and right. that seems like i would be i'd much rather turn them invisible than that if i if anything yes. i would flip those like i would have the fourth one be add the branch and then the fifth one be invisible just because i don't know why you would want to do the branch over invisibility no you never want to do that yeah four he thinks four is max so, oh okay cool So you can't get fifth one yeah, so that makes sense. knowing that... I w- then I just wouldn't factor you, that in. You would just never give yourself an extra life at that point. You'd wait. But that could be an interesting tactic, right? Where it's like if you find yourself with three, you're like, oh, I'll give myself an extra health. It will give you like an yeah. advantage. And switching players with the opponent, it was just too hard to even get up to five. Like yeah, six. although that is cool. That would be. But you'd have to be losing, if at which point you wouldn't be getting these dots if no. <laughs> you're losing. So that'd be a hard one to achieve, is get it up to six. It's it's possible if you're like really, really good at avoiding everything. And, yeah, and you... And finding that balance between playing too aggressively and... Yeah. But I would flip the branch and the invisibility, because invisibility is just too powerful. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> yeah, that, very powerful. And it's the most fun, too. I was, it, the two it times I got to do it, I was like... Yeah. It doesn't last for too long, but enough to kill you. And That's it's, for sure. And it's fun that it comes out of nowhere. I was It gave me so much pleasure to like... <laughs> you're yes. like, raw. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden like, oh my god, where am I? So, uh, let me switch back. We're going to uh, play Lost Dungeon Quest Apshai. <gasps> this is... I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> now this... Uh, in the 80s, there was a series of games based around the word Apshai. Um... Temple of Apshai. Uh, oh, now I've forgotten all of them. But I did play. I think there was three of them or four of them. Um, Apshai, Apshai. Let me look it up. Temple of Apshai. Um, and I played it on my Commodore 64. Oh, wow. So is... Oh, uh, and they were collectively known as the Dungeon Quest series. So Dungeon Quest. So that lost Dungeon Quest. So he's saying this is one that was, that was lost. It's like and the here lost scrolls of you know. Yeah. It's like we found some new ancient texts <laughs> buried under the a cavern. That's right. That gives us insight into. Here we go. So Temple of Apshai, the Date Stones of Rin, Morlock's Tower, Hellfire Warrior, Upper Reaches of Apshai, the Keys of Archeon. Oh my god, there's so many. Wow, it was like... Temple of Apshai Trilogy in 1985. Um, I can't remember which one I played. I think I played one of the Temple of Apshai Trilogy. uh, And it was really, really cool. Well, it's it's 1979. That's some early gaming, man. That's really early. That's like text-based computer gaming. (sighs) Um, And that one in 1979 was put out on... The TRS-80, Commodore PET, and IBM PC. Wow. And Apple II. Oh, and and later systems. It was yeah, ad- so it kind of like they kept it. Is yeah. it text-based? It must be. 
I probably the earlier ones were like all drawn with text because it was very difficult to do graphics then. Um, but the later ones were graphical, like the one on the the C sixty four that I yeah. played, and it's a dungeon crawler. And you walk around the dungeons. It's revealed as you go from room to room. It's four-way scrolling. Cool. And you have to get keys to open doors. And there's chests. And there's different monsters that you fight. And you get projectile weapons or a sword. Mm. Oh, I loved that game. It's classic. Okay. And you find you find the um, you know ladders to go down to the next level. It's it's run-of-the-mill kind of stuff. But it was an early, a really well done early version of that. And you could you know, cast spells. It was all, you know, those standard are my favorite. Fare. Those are my favorite kind of games. Yeah. I love that. That's my favorite genre. So this one is uh, made by, uh, I see I didn't write it down. Who said it was theirs? Was it Wade Rain? I think it might have been. Yeah. Well, he's, he's saying that Wade Rain. See, I don't want to get it. Yep. Yeah. Wade Rain in uh, the chat is the developer of this. And uh, so this one is version, oh no, this one was, see, I oh, didn't no. write enough information down on this one. Let me load it up locally here. Um, this one was not put out not too long ago. Uh, it is from the 19th, so this was three three days ago. So this is fresh wow. off the press as well. Brand new. Brand new. And the first version, I think he put out on uh, June 24th. That's the earliest one I have. So his write-up says, Hello, ever Hello everyone. Been working on an AppShy game for the 2600 for a few months now. Based off the classic Gateway to AppShy Epics game. I think that's the one I played. Uh, except for bug fixes, this will be the last beta release. The one we're playing. It's basically the game without the final level 40 boss fight. This is the endless dungeon version. Oh. <laughs> Changed a bunch of stuff and fixed a bunch of bugs. Still have a few more bugs to iron out, but it is playable. I plan to release carts for the final version, hopefully in the next few months. You can download it from the link or from the attached files. Remember to hit the download button in the top right corner from the link. Thanks for playing. Okay, so I, I couldn't find any instructions so per se. To... So we'll just. Well, we've got Wade in the chat. Yeah, he'll help us out if we're. Oh, I sent you... Oh, it's jumpy. Uh-oh. Well, you're back. Uh, you have some more work to do. Um, so this, when it's jumpy like this on on a real hardware, um, that indicates that the number of lines being drawn on the screen is not a steady number. And it's jumping between two different amount of lines. Um, and that's... Whoa, wow, that was crazy looking. <laughs> And, oh man, uh, I'm just like. Oh, when you're not moving, it um, it stays still. Okay, I don't, I don't so, know what this is, but I'm gonna get it. So it. Uh, what is this? I'll have to look up because it looks like Arena Foot. Oh, I died. Sent some info. Uh, oh. With his new book. So we might have some instructions. So keep at it. He said there's a 4.2 that doesn't jump. Oh, no. What? Okay, and I died already. Rip. This is 4.2. Did you... No, this is 4.2, isn't it? Oh, what? Hold on, I can't go back. Add in more draw screens. Oh, you can't restart it? Yeah. Oh, no. So we might be... That's deadly on a this version. <laughs> okay, hold Let's... it down. Okay, so let's see what uh, version we're running here. So this is Lost Dungeon, right? Yeah. And then... 4.2. 4.2. see what happens. Oh, there's a manual. God, that's right. Oh, that's great news. Okay, so... Okay. This is this is the one from the 18th. Sorry, not 19th. So do I have... Um, an, uh, is there another 4.2 that I did not get? Let me look it up. I don't want to show off one that's old and broken and if and if he's updated it already. And that snake, by the way, looks exactly like the Yeah, it's just uh, when I move and then I get like Yeah, this is the newest version. Oh my so god. It's Hell. it's it's watchable, like you can see what you're doing. That's really cool how it's like trails. <laughs> There's like trails of you. Even though it's unintentional, it's it's kinda cool. Damn, okay, now it's getting better. Okay, so those dots are healing salves. 
<sighs> so you want to get those. Yeah. Um, obviously, creature, player, the, your health is on the left. So press the... Oh, you can't. Oh, my God. And also, make sure uh, Wade Rain. Got it? Got it, yeah. You press... Have a button press so you can start the game over. Or maybe... Did we try the game reset? I didn't try that, so let's try oh, okay, next cool. time. Don't want to say that it doesn't work. It might just be me. It's always <laughs> me. It's always potentially me. Uh, so your health... Press the button. So your health is on the left, which is 99. But it's weird because I keep dying like around like 60. Oh, that is weird. Um, it's like we got this guy, right? And the one on the right is your level. So you're in level one there. Uh, and the number of gold collected is oh, in the bottom. Oh, see, I'm like getting wailed on. 59, 55. Like so like now I get some health. Okay, 65. So there so you see, go. this is weird though. Like 65 is good. and then like... Maybe they're like really powerful. Oh, 69, 63, 57. I've got 67. There you go. Uh, now I'm like 70. Searching for high adventure, you're teleported okay, into the 91. forgotten dungeon of Apshai, carrying nothing but a sword and light armor. You must fight through 10 creatures per level to advance with each level being oh, a little and, bit harder and than the I just died. On 96 health. Yeah. That's really weird. Bug? Yeah. Plays best on Stella. Yes, it, it it doesn't jump on Stella because it ignores line counts. Yeah. Because but... it's not trying to emulate a display. Ran out of time. Oh. Okay. I see. Thanks, Arena. But so I, don't I, gotta... see a, I don't see a timer. Where's my timer? Because it says 69, maybe? When the score runs red. Oh. Okay. So well, I got to just, like, fucking run. Because I yes. thought I wasn't playing. Like, I got to kill 10 of these guys. I got to just run in and do it. Yes. Um. And what's the, what did you say this is the restart? Oh. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay. Okay. Cool. So just the reset. Okay. I'm but just... it's always good to make that the, the the button. Yeah. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get okay. Watch out! You're getting all low. Well, I gotta. <laughs> if I. You, you need some health, man. Oh, it's getting pink. It's not red yet. There you go. You did it. Whew. Oh, it's fairly stable. Okay, I made Except when it. you move up. Okay, but the You same. need health, man. Badly. But if I if I take too long, I'm going to die. That's true. Uh, okay, some creatures are easier to kill than others, while some move slower but are harder to kill. Each have their own unique stats. As you lose health points, healing salves will randomly appear around the screen. Some rooms are easy to get the healing salves while others are harder to get. After you kill 10 creatures, a door will appear and you'll be able to advance to the next level. You have oh, roughly no. 45 seconds to clear a, a room. Okay. Yeah. Every 11.25 seconds, the score will change color so that you get four, oh, four color changes. So it goes from green to run. Oh, you almost ran out of time too. Was yeah. Always, it was in the red. Well, it was tough because like... I just, I guess you gotta, it's, it, what a, what a race. So, yeah. start there. Yeah, the time limit stops when you clear the room, but if you run out of time, the game is over. The red score means you're almost out of time. There's plenty of time to kill, uh, to clear a room, but it does add a balance to the game between killing creatures, getting healing salves, and time management. Yes. Okay, there's some difficulty levels. Oh, is there? Okay. Use the left difficulty with advanced. Creatures move faster, and uh, healing salves change quicker. On the and left? Uh, on a, on the, the left difficulty? Yeah. What? Or it says A. A for, for hard? A for advanced. Okay, we're on easy. And then B is standard, which is like creatures move normal and healing salves. Okay, so stay. we're on standard. Which seems to be a okay amount of time oh and each each um uh each guy's got its own its own thing like we've got like cave bats move really fast right but they don't like hit that hard right and that like the snakes are like move medium and their attacks are pretty light but then you get like like the giant fungi is slow but it hits hard right and like um the ghoul is like one of the toughest and then yeah the 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 armored ghoul. statue almost out of time Ah, uh, go, go, go. <laughs> Level three. So there's 40 levels? Oh, my God. Bats are like... Uh. So it's kind of collect the, the healing as you can. 
I see. And really? then the blue is like uh, this green, blue, pink, red. So that's the levels of um, timing. So now I'm in the pink, which is the third one. So I'm gonna run out of time soon. Mm -hmm. And these guys, the hot toughest. He hits hard, but he's that slow. Guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. so you don't want to get hit by that oh. guy. Yeah, he's slow. And he takes uh. the most time to kill. Oh, uh. oh my God! It's and still... then this is like one of the medium ones. This guy's pretty hard. What's that dot do? Yeah. The dot is the healing. Three. That doesn't have a counter. But I guess you Press can... the reset button to restart the game. Okay, as we figured Got it. it out. Yep. Yeah, bats are quick to kill. Actually, my health's pretty good. Yeah, so there's a little bit of an RNG element, too. I mean, if you've got like nine bats in a row, this is going to be a different. <laughs> yes. Yellow dot is bonus. Oh, so now I've got. I'm still in the green. So I can go around and collect some healing salves while I'm waiting. How did I kill mm. so quickly? I think I got a bunch of bats. Yeah, you did. Oh, they don't. They stop coming. Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. Oh, bye, Arena Foot. Thanks for bye, Arena. dropping in. He said he could only be in here for a bit. He's got to go to work, but he made it for the first, first bit. This guy's like a medium one. Medium, yeah. This guy's relatively easy yeah this is the quick. easiest oh yeah see if you get they some... move fast but but it's good because they just run right at you this guy's the toughest yeah oh, he takes a pink. lot and he hits hard and the pink come on come yeah on. and if he hits you you're oh another one. Oh, i see we're running out you're... of time ah Yay. Oh, oh, it resets. Look, after you kill everyone, it goes to green, so you have unlimited time. Cool, and then, you can, the and then you can grab, like, the this last thing, dot. which oh, is good. Gives you a little oh, extra points. Oh, it's gold. Point. So ah, that's not healing. that's cool. The gold's a tiny yellow one, and the healing's a, a little bit taller. Okay, so as long as you just kill ten people, you're good. And you don't have to rush. Ah, oh my god, I was pushing him. Yeah. He was hitting me every time I pushed him. That was very bad. I don't think this is, like what it's called but this it looks like a cat to me <laughs> it's a, a rat i'm sure <laughs> and you're slow you're low man oh nine 19 what i must have landed on yeah, one automatically yeah. this guy hits hard get out of the way i want to get, get that oh did i get it it's so hard to tell what's going yeah, on yeah when it's when it's the jumping. jitter is crazy 32 27 yeah oh i don't think i'm gonna make time one more i gotta rush in and just kill him Okay, level seven. Bat, yes. That's good. Rats, easy. Yeah, it's almost like if you see that bat, you want to kill it like right away because yeah. it's not going to hit you hard. No. And they, this one's medium, medium. So it's yeah. like um. He's throwing some. Oh, ran out of. Juice. But that was mostly the the bat jittering screen kind of <laughs> messed you up there. A little bit. Very cool. Good balance oh, between yeah. you know having you get help which one's the reset Is oh the, the right one okay cool so i want to play in hard now oh no i'll let you play in easy yeah, again I've, then I've... i'll go to hard because i made it to level seven and he's got uh oh okay. man see like i just got like three of these armor guys in a row <laughs> oh that's gonna slow you down um at the and uh, the last page glad you took the time to read my goofy manual my name is Justin Gibson, and I've been playing video games ever since I was tall enough to roll a quarter Justin. into a machine in the mid-70s. I've been play making games mainly as a hobby off and on since 1984. My first game was a steeplechase clone in my Commodore 64. In the mid-90s, I did a little gaming work for a few indie companies, but I found it boring and tedious. I kind of like my game making as a hobby. I put together Apshai as a ho homage to old Epics games. Apshai was one of my favorite games back in the day, same as mine. Uh, nothing more than a simple game of see how high of a score you can get. I made this Atari 2600 game mainly for the challenge, and also it may be a work up to a very large Atari game I'm planning. Thanks for playing. And he's got a quote at the end, when you strip away the fancy graphics and sound, all games are just a version of Pong. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> that's, that's really crazy, the... The ghost images of you. See, like this, like whenever you get one of these guys, you gotta look out. 
Oh, so P Thrust um, is analyzing uh, the the line count in Stella, and it's jumping between 264 and 262, and that's why you're seeing that slight little bounce. Yeah. And it's when you're walking, it's doing the bounce. Yeah, so it's almost like, I mean... And, and fighting. So if you stood still, it's totally fine, right? It's tough because he's teleport sometimes, too. <laughs> does seem to it's teleport. just an extra layer challenge. Yep. So, Creatures of Apshai, the cave bat. Very fast, very light, can fly over walls. I call these the cats. I don't know if they are. <laughs> that is a cave rat. Even though he's a different color in the manual. He's uh, gray. Maybe they change colors, actually. I think they do. Uh, though bats are easy to kill, they're very fast and can strip away health, quickly strip away health points. Uh, snake, pit snake, moves medium, attacks light. Snakes are nasty, it's better to kill them right away. Skeleton, it's the guy with the sword, moves fast, attacks light. What a, yes. What's a dungeon without a few undead things to kill? Oh, so we're going to switch it to hard now. Oh god, okay. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, that's a different maze. Yeah, Ooh. it's just damages a lot. And the things, the so, salves are... Creatures move faster and healing salves move quicker. So it's harder to get the healing. Oh my god, they do move. It's pretty much like you're lucky if you get one. Cave rat, medium, medium. Oh cave rats god. can ruin your day if you don't kill them quickly. Uh, giant fungi. This moves guy. Moves slow, attacks high. That guy is an armored statue. Yeah, see, that's the toughest. Very slow, attacks very high. Um, it takes a few swipes to kill one, it says. Yeah, and since it's there's the time is such a factor in this game, Those right? guys are bad for time. Whoa, that guy flew in fast. So in the original um, oh. Apshai game, you'd be able to pick up like better weapons. Yeah, like, yeah. Better armor. Um, like projectiles that you could shoot across. Um a lot of power-ups. This one is like a very stripped-down version of Apsha. You get yeah. you get the one sword. There's no projectiles. There's healing. You get that at least. And it's a one-screen game. There's no scrolling around and discovering different parts of the dungeon. Oh, thank you. So let me try it on hard. Yeah, Temple of Apsha. Oh, Thunkist. Welcome. Getting a lot of new names today. That's great. Welcome. Hey, Thunkist. Or I think uh, it's new. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm just not didn't. as good at this game, but I would love it if it ramped up a little, if it was like a little <laughs> bit easier on the first like five levels. Like oh. we had just more time would be nice. So I could kind of get in the groove and then it could like ramp up and, and play Actually, a lot quicker. Yes, that's a it, good idea because... It's just a pretty... Whoa! This is the first level. Well, that's the ramping of the... It's just the, the screen glitch. Well, yeah. Um, also, I think maybe the first level should only be like bats and snakes and stuff. Yeah, so and it's like... And then slowly build up to the tough guys as you as you move on. Yeah, because then you feel like you're going deeper into the dungeon and yes. there's like... And then it could be all like all statues. All the tough guys, because that's how it should be. Yeah, because and you have really like less don't... time. Because it feels yeah. like... It just feels like the same thing each level yes. and there's i mean which isn't a problem i love rng in games yeah. like i love the feeling but i definitely even like the first time i logged on it was like what what is yeah. happening this is and and also the level design like the first levels maybe should be more open yeah and then it's almost like a maze and then it gets more complicated because it gets harder you get stuck on the walls moving around so bats and openness yeah in the first ones then it moves onward more and more to complicated mazes harder to kill people and less time, maybe not less time, yeah. but at least match those up nicely so there is a ramp up because this, oh my god, like they're throwing random things at me. I mean, it is on the hard level. Let's switch to the easy level again. again. And like that, sh you shouldn't be fighting a skeleton right off the bat. You should yeah. be fighting the bats and the rats, like every adventure game. Yeah, and then you like slowly work towards, so yeah. Cause... Yeah, bats, maybe, maybe he does have that. And well, no, actually, like, I fought, like, a, like one time I fought, like, two statue guys. In, like, the early levels? Yeah. Yeah, those should be, like, level 10 and even these ghouls, something. right? Yeah, those are mediums, right? Those yeah. Ghouls. 
I mean, maybe I'm sure he has an RNG element where it's like it's just it's it's just less likely. But see, see now level two, level you're two, you're fighting I mean, the hardest guy in the whole game on level two, which is fine because there is the always cool to like throw the dice and stuff. Like sure. you could maybe maybe him statistically be like super low, but it it feels about the same to me. Every level is just a repetitive thing over and over again. And it's like the, there's a nice feeling. And, and actually, that's the thing, too, I think. It's really nice in a game is, like, if the first few levels are actually pretty easy, there's yes. something nice about that because then you, you feel like... You and also your... you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm like, deeper into this because if you die immediately on, like, level one, you're like, oh, <laughs> what, happened? what chance do we have? <laughs> yes. Like... So that that would be it. I That's think. the only little tweak. I mean, and if you wanted to add layers of stuff, like having a longer sword with like a level, like you could get a power yeah. up, and then maybe if like um... power ups, like there's no power ups in this game. Yeah. So adding that element of random chance of getting something good would be would be amazing and they could be temporary and that's you know, and, your, and your sword breaks or whatever yeah but that could be something cool that if like um which if you kept the ramp up the same but like the iron statues have a better chance of dropping a level up yeah so like then you're rewarded for having beaten this like tough statue guy in like level two <laughs> yes yes that's right maybe then you get like i don't know and you could just have the sword just be a bit longer because that would be a huge advantage in this game it it would be yeah, but I'd say definitely you could hit through walls or something. Yeah. yeah, and definitely a ramp up would would be would be cool. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue that I have with this. It's just same level over and over again. Yeah, there's no difference. Cause, I, so level one's the same as level forty, so it's just a, a trudge through things, and it's not. There's no surprises. There's nothing new as you progress, and that's what you want in a game. Usually, like the old school games, just go faster and faster and faster. Yeah, it's and like it's like fine. the wall jump ninja that you were playing, right? It's like so easy on level. And yeah, then, the and openings then it just... are huge. Totally breeze through it, and then it just gets, but it it ramps up nicely. Yeah. Yeah. and and that's and that's a fun feeling. Like if you had, like you said, open space, yeah. just bats, yeah. lots of time, yeah. and then it slowly gets like crunchier and crunchier to the point that you have like no time, and you're fucking warding off <laughs> yeah, like, statues ah, ah, and it's like level ah. 38 you know <laughs> oh yeah that that is exactly right so uh the next one we're gonna go to is Orb. but everybody is a critic i know everybody's I mean, it's a, not our game no man and and thank you so much for programming this is so yes. much fun and i love like dungeon crawlers this oh is, my like, god they're only one reason... of my favorite genres is dungeon crawlers and the only reason why i'm saying this stuff is i'm like oh this is oh, my, my favorite genre this is like yeah and the the end goal is to have the best game possible hell yeah because it's it's better for the developer better for the players like we just want we want the games to be as awesome as they can Hell be yeah. and if you can do minor tweaks like that like those those characters are in a table like one through ten yeah level one you limit it to characters one and two totally and like then you random between those two and you give them like 30 seconds <laughs> yeah yeah just stupid and then like level two is like 25 seconds and, and you do one two three and it's just a table lookup it's 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 a fairly simple programming technique that would just add so much to oh, the yeah. game. Oh, yeah. And it would feel like you're... Because you, you want to go deeper into the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my, like, oh, I made it to the tough guy. Yeah, my, my favorite game of all time is Diablo and Diablo 2, and I love the feeling of, like, you start out by going into the catacombs, and then yeah. you go into, like... And by the time you're in, like, level 15, you're in hell. You're literally <laughs> yes. in hell fighting demons and getting, like... Oh. And also you can change the color of the levels, too. Oh, yeah. Like, it's all nice and gray or something at the beginning. Just normal stone and then, like, hell. It's gets like, red, oh. red uh, walls and stuff. Like, you can do that kind of indicators. Yeah. Constructive criticism should be something good. Only bold, bad programmers feel attacked by this, yes. And, and you know, most, almost all, all, almost all the programmers of 2600 games, um, you know, put put their games into the forums, yeah. post them online. They, they're welcoming feedback. Otherwise, they'd hold it right to the end and say, my game is done. I don't want to hear about it. You either like it or you don't like it. So I, I think most programmers in this community are very open cool to criticism constructive criticism i just feel so bad because i'm like i also make movies for a living so like whenever yeah. i show someone my film uh, and they're my... immediately like goo, goo, goo. i'm like oh man can't you just don't you know how many hours i put into this can you just like it and i can go <laughs> i know i know that's what you want you want it 
Ah, it's perfect. Ultima, yes. I completed Ultima 1, 2, and 3, and almost 4. Some of the best adventure games ever. Like, yeah. really old school. You probably haven't played them. No, <laughs> Have no, you I'm, heard of Ultima? I haven't even heard of Ultima. Oh, I mean, man. maybe okay. if I saw an image of it, I might know. But It's kind of over. They did Ultima Online, and that was kind of yeah. the end of it. So they're not really making it anymore. They definitely could bring it back yeah. as a first person. And, uh, oh, Wade Rain, awesome. awesome, you guys! You gave some great ideas. Thanks. And I'd love to. Welcome. I'd love to play this again if you do an update, oh, yeah. Wade. I'd love to see like um, what this is. What How this it is. evolves. Yes. Yeah, that's that's is like my favorite part of of this show is getting to like try different iterations. Yes, yes, and we do that all the time when there's major updates. Um, we go, yeah, it's time to play it again. Hell yeah. Let's check it out, see what see what happened. Yeah, good game, um, uh, Wade Rain yeah, from Mr. Fix, game. and I, I agree. Second I think that. it's got the the basics that you need for a really good game. Hell and yeah. It's just these tiny tweaks that... that Push you, it over the edge. Yeah, exactly. And obviously the, the jumping around. So just watch your line count. You just do um, Alt-L or control L in Windows and it'll give a line count on the top left of your screen. You want it that you want that line count to be steady. Usually people go for 262. That's like the normal one. But you don't want it jumping around at all. You want it rock steady 262. And that comes from drawing too many lines on the screen. Mm -hmm. On emulator, it looks fine. You won't even notice it. But when you put it on real hardware like we're playing uh, on a on a light sixer or any any kind of hardware, it processes that by moving things around it's, oh, it, yeah, it has sense. to draw it differently every time if you're drawing different number of lines so you need it you know rock steady for that so the next game we're going to be playing is orb and this is version 0.9 this cool. is not hot off the press this is a work in progress this is more and uh i would say in the abandoned category category okay and sometime what one time i actually played one of these on the show in the kind of abandoned category and the guy saw it and he, he, he started working on it again that's the dream is like, yes, that is the dream because you want them to finish the game you because some of these don't get noticed by the community nobody plays them nobody gives feedback even though you know there's some good stuff to these games and when you're working on something and whatever kind of art it is like for us films and for them video games and you get no feedback oh it's impossible it's like does anybody even care about what i'm doing it's like yeah but, you're doing it for yourself but you're also making it for other people it yeah. just doesn't exist in a bubble you want these games to be played hell yeah it's yeah. also like with comedians they say there's nothing oh but stage time when you're yeah. on stage doing comedy it's like that's where you learn everything and it's yes. like same with a movie it's like yes. when, when i make a film and you project it for an audience you learn everything you're like oh, oh. that's where you learn it and it's yeah. and that's the point and it's like um uh the same deal with something like this it's like yeah. when you release it to the public and watch them play your game then yeah. it's like oh that's how you know, because because we're we're dumb, we can't actually <laughs> really like make something necessarily better. But sometimes just watching someone play is like, oh, that's yeah. and just watching the technique that you use. Sometimes is like, oh, oh, you can do that in my game. Oh, let's take advantage of that yeah. and work on that and make that the focus. It's like maybe somebody likes a certain aspect of the game, like the the Monkey King one. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we like this part of it do more of that <laughs> and we don't even use that it didn't come into play didn't do anything we thought it might be part of, like i mean we're only two people maybe other people oh, like a different yeah. part of the game but you know it's like oh that's awesome part add more in or put coconuts you know, <laughs> falling coconuts which is this chat that wasn't even us that's yeah, the best part it is like somebody thought yeah falling things will yeah. add so much to it um so this one is orb by wink dot um, this is version 0.9 from September 9th, 2015, so three years ago. Uh, Orb. The planet Orb can be a dangerous place, full of mystery. The Alliance has lost many ships while trying oh. to explore the planet. Too many to count. It will be your mission to rescue downed pilots and return them to the mothership. Cool. Get to know your ship. At the start of the game, your ship will appear in a safe area of the planet. Oh, okay. I see. So right now, your I'm... ship is only large enough to hold three pilots. You can only have one. You only have Whoa. one ship to complete your mission. 
Uh, your ship has a strong shield that can sustain eight hits before being destroyed. The shield is indicated by the bar in the right, bottom right of the screen, the purple okay. bar. I think I have to capture, like, I don't know which ones are, are the good ones. I played this briefly. The ship, the, the guys are at the bottom of the screen. There's none on this screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just crashed into a mountain. Um, oh, I see. I just gotta dodge all this stuff. So there's a dude. He needs rescuing. Hey, buddy. Oh, but I hit the... <laughs> hit the mountain. I see. Um, cool. Most enemies will take one shield unit away as they're hit. The, ex oh. the exception is the orb will will take away two shield points away. The orb. That guy, I guess, is the orb. Whoa, he's just... Oh. <laughs> Your ship is equipped with laser cannons. They can shoot left or right. Terrain hits will damage your sh ship's shield units. The mothership. After you've saved three pilots, the mothership will descend on the safe landing area. So you got to go back to the safe area once oh, you've see. got three pilots. So that's one. Oh, it shows. You've and got one. Whoa. There you go. Okay, so I'll kill so that you got guy. The orb. So the orb. Yep. And there's nobody here. Nobody here, so... Oh, see, I just <laughs> smashed in it. Oh. <laughs> Nobody here either. <laughs> Very colorful. Yeah. Really colorful. This is a cool design. It looks amazing. And then I, I can smash into this thing too. Yeah. Oh, uh, your ship must dock with the mothership to transfer the rescue pilots. At that time, all your ship shields will be restored to full. Oh, good. You will also get 100 points for any ship. Uh, oh. Remaining shield units. You'll get a thousand points for each pilot returned to the mothership. Okay, so like the thing that's interesting. So you need, so you need one more guy. But I don't. Yeah. I think you're at the end, so you have to go back and search. Keep searching. There's another guy. I think every screen is just a random, just random. Oh, I see. So and then I gotta go back to the safe area. It yeah, because you're full. You can't pick up any more pilots. Oh, I see. I see. Oh shit. Got oh. coconuts in already. He's already. Oh up, my god, that's cool. He's already cool. updated the Damn, game. Damn, man. <laughs> they are buggy, but the concepts is cool. Hey, if you post that, we'll do a first on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Update. Play the updated game. <laughs> oh, do I just run into this the guy? Initial game. Oh, cool. So I got some points. So, oh, sweet. So and if you full. post it in the thread, we'll we'll download it and play the coconuts briefly at the end of the show. Yeah. Um, the enemies, the orb. The orb will be aggressive and try to ram your ship. If hit, you will lose two shield points and one rescued pilot will be removed from the ship. Oh, so if the orb hits you, you lose a, a pilot you rescued. I guess he flies out the window. Uh, meteors. Meteors cannot be shot. You just and must dodge be them. avoided. If they hit your ship, Makes you sense. will lose one shield. Cool, so... Oh, so it's time to return. I'm noticing you're kind of wise not to really go too far from this save screen. <laughs> uh, I, I, I haven't said anything, but... Oh, see that... Does that uh, area have pilots sometimes? No. So, but that but does. but it's random, it seems. Like, yes. Like, so, for example, I got him there, so I can just go back. That's what I was going to say. And then I can just go here. And, and back. And back. Oh. And see, he, he's there. Yeah, and you pick so him up. So I can up. get him, and I can pop over here, pop over here. Yep, and there you go. Yeah, every screen is random. So all you need to do is go. So you may as well. Back, back. I don't know why. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with random. <laughs> yeah. Is that random can work is against you? Is he like? You. Yeah. No. No. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe very. Not. I think it's probably the first one screen it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe. He maybe thought we... of this. Hmm. Oh. Well, oh, maybe once you get one. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's maybe like ramping up. Yeah, because I it's... think it might be ramping up now. Because I'm oh. like, very interesting. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh, maybe you got to go right to the end and get them. No, there's nobody. Nobody. Okay, we got to go farther out. So okay. Our, they thought of our trick. We initially were like, yeah. Oh, oh, dude. Whoa. We can cheat the system. I'm dodging <laughs> like crazy. Sound. I think it's just a very quiet game. It is. Yeah. Like I, when I shoot, it makes like a bloop sound, but that's about it. Where is my friends? Oh, I've had the sound off the whole time. Sorry, everyone. I've had the sound off on these games the whole time. Oh, no. Damn. Okay, uh, I don't see any guys, man. Sound was on for us, but not for you guys. I am very sorry. Yeah, sound. Somebody just said, said there's no sound. There is sound. There's sound. <laughs> sorry. And it was really low for us, too, here. But it was off I'm for you guys. I'm just looking for these guys, man. I don't see any. 
There's none. You've got none. I'm looking around. Did you go right to the end? Yeah, I went right to the end. Let me go to what the end. What the hell? Am I, let My me, team. Let me see if I missed some instructions. Maybe there's like something else. Oh, there are places where you can descend deeper into the planet. Ooh. So maybe you need to find... So this is... Like an entrance somewhere. Because you've cleared everybody up from top. That makes sense. Maybe try down there. No, no, oh, no, 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 down. I mean, there you go. Oh, uh, so you gotta go deeper. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, okay. Atari's so number. read from Meteors. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I did Meteors, the next one. Oh, that uh, falling ships and the purpose of these <laughs> has not been discovered. They cannot be destroyed by your cannons and go. must be Sorry. avoided. Okay, so they're just stuff you dodge. Planet Patrol look to defend the planet. These enemies can be shot. One of these, if hit, will drop a shield unit. And you can gain some shield unit back. And he'll move, yeah. From who? This is like Planet Patrol. Oh. Let's see. I've never seen that. I don't Neither. think. Oh my god, that was brutal. Killed me right away. And other items of interest. There are places where you can descend deeper into the planet. As the game progresses, you must go down in order to rescue pilots as they will no longer appear on the top level. See, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So, okay. like, the first few rounds, but I I think you could just use my technique then. You can, actually. Oh, that is annoying when you just go onto a screen and you're dead right away. You couldn't even see the... Yeah, it's, like, overwhelmingly in your favor to do that. It is. Yeah, I just got three people on the first screen. Oh, Pilots appear on the surface based on the level of the game, which is based upon how many pilots you've rescued. They appear as follows. Oh. 0 to 9 rescued appear on surface 1. 12 to 18 rescued appear on surface 2. And up to 27 rescued appear on surface 3. None will appear on surface 1 and 2. Okay. So yeah, you just gotta go deeper and deeper. Okay. Yeah, so our technique does work. <laughs> work for the, for the first three goes right and then you have to go down and then you can get it so it seems like yeah and is there any way to win or is it just forever <laughs> it's probably just forever probably after that it just goes to level you have to descend down two levels i guess yeah but it doesn't seem to go any deeper it just sort of goes like uh up to 27 rescue to appear on surface three so i think after 27 it's just you always have to go down three levels right go back Which to the ship makes it for a lot of work to get to that spot yeah, a lot more stuff to dodge. <clears throat> oh. But after you rescue um, three guys and you bring them back, your um, your shields are full again. So it's kind of like a reset. Yeah. Which is good. See, there you go. Yeah, I don't really like this level. Well, you can just This like... is the best level to rescue people because you shoot the guy and you're safe. And then you're fine. But he's not here. And that one too. Yeah. That one's good because they are always And he'll the come same meet level. you eventually. Yeah, like that. There we go. One more. Oh, that's the worst. Ah. Best. That's a good one. That is the 100% best. There we go. Perfect. So I think I have done the three Three, levels. so now you got to go deeper. Yeah. Now I have to risk my ass. Getting across here. That one's an easy one. That one's a fairly easy one. It's the meteors. The meteors are cool looking. Like yeah. Super amazing looking. Yeah, this is an amazing looking game. Oh, yeah, the color is so colorful. Oh my, I, so terrible. Like, how can you avoid that? I, I kind of did a bit of a dance in the middle. I got good at it, but that's a... Oh, yeah, and then you that go... That one's pretty easy. Though. Yeah, and then you go deeper. Okay. It's cool. The top part there, where it kind of shows the like, surface. Yeah. What happens if I shoot these dudes? Oh. Nothing. Oh. But it looks like you can find the middle, right? Where it's, it's like there's on. nobody who will ever... Oh, you can't shoot them. Because see, like, it's just they're always on the same plane. Do you get oh points? Oh, God. Uh, I think you get... Oh, no. That's yeah. the extent to the right. So yeah, that's right. So you got to go to the left. Whoa. So now it should be random again. Should be random again, yes. And he's one, or one right there, yeah. So I can use the same technique again. Totally. And stick right around here. Oh, it's hard. Brutal. <laughs> On that. Okay. Let's see if 
there's anything else here that can help us. <laughs> Better scores can be, be achieved when the game is controlled using a joystick. How else? What? <laughs> That's quite a funny hint. Um, one special ship will at times drop a shield unit when destroyed. I haven't seen that yet. A special ship. Oh no. Oh no, just... That's okay though. Like it's just the it's first just a round. shield, yeah. Oh, I know. I'm. It. I lost my uh, teammate. Oh right, that's the guy that can uh, that can steal it. Specifically that guy. Oh, and see, he'll come and meet me eventually. Yeah. There you go. Then you get all your health back. You yeah, can, and you don't have to dock from below apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's easy to. That guy's easy to get. Just have to make sure he's on your level before you shoot him. So this one was created using Batari and the DP, DCP plus kernel. <laughs> DCP means something different, Dots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Um, oh. And there is jitter in this game as well. A tiny bit. Just a bit. So he, the person does need to work on that. Hope you enjoy and always comments are welcome. Um, that is it, really. So it just gets harder as you play because, it, oh my god, getting hammered. Because you have to go, oh. go through all these levels, traverse them after you get those yeah. three guys on the lower and then go back. And then if you do another three, you have to go all the way down and then back and back again. Uh, I uploaded version 0.82 with a working coconut. It only falls on the left side of the tree, though. I need to free up some vars to make it fall on both. Yeah, won't make that tonight, but feel free to try this. We will. Yeah, I'll get it ready. Yeah, maybe they'll do the last one because I got to leave at one, so we got like a little bit of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to make sure we play the last game. Yeah. Ah. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Getting hammered. I lost my team. Oh no. So I will download that right now. Monkey King. Point eight two. There we go. Save that. There we go. Thrust is saying last active May twenty sixth, twenty eighteen. Yeah, Do you think he I means know. like this as in like I try and message all these guys, um, saying that I'm gonna play the game, but if they haven't been on the, on the forums for like six months, it's just... they're not gonna see my message, saying that we played the game, S unless they have like email, uh, messages turned on, sometimes. So I'll tell them that we did play the game, but I should make it a point to just message them regardless, whether they haven't been on in years or in, uh, they were on yesterday. Oh. oh, you can hit the ground, too. Yeah, it's ruthless. I thought you could only hit the uh, mountains. Come on, I want, I want you to make it back to the mothership, at least. Yeah, yeah, it's so that we Off can, this like... this one. See, oh, is that another down? No. No. Oh. oh! So that's two. It's two. Yeah, this is a good one to do. Yeah. However, the awesome. cool part is, is that, like... So see, they're on the same plane, so it's not too hard. Yeah, they don't move around too much. So I can kind of, I can change directions. I can kind of always. But the thing that's, because he could steal one of mine potentially, yes. and then and have then to go have back. To go all the way back down. Dude, it's all in a row. Wow. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, you. So this is easy because it's the same plane. That's fine. And then so the same safe plane. It's actually to stay low because that's. But then there's this, right? And so I'm just going to risk bad. it. But, I mean, there's also the potential that you could just re-jig re it until it Whoa, gives you one. Like, especially if you're low health, if you have, like, Meteor, right? It's kind of oh, like... yes. Just Don't doing that it. makes more sense. Clears it out. And then, yeah. Awesome. And then it. refill. Okay, cool. I uh, supposed to. I didn't quite believe his claims of terminal illness. Oh. Oh, oh this what? guy has a, had a terminal illness. Holy crap. 
I mean, oh. we we can, you know, that's maybe we don't believe it, but at the same time, if if it's the case, man, like he hasn't been on screw in a while, orb, so. like spend time with your family on your last <laughs> days yeah, on this not earth. programming video games. <laughs> so that we can, you know, get more guys from the mothership. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and it's completely playable. This is a cool game. Yep. Yep. But we must move on. Yes. I think we have exhausted this game. Definitely. Very cool. Very colorful. Very amazing looking, and it's yeah. Lots of fun. Although the the cheaty thing is kind of eh, it's not a little so bit good. sketchy. Maybe it should be consistent. Like meteors on this one, this kind on this one, yeah. this kind on this one, rather than random, because you can just clear it out. Because meteors are super hard, and you never want to uh, yeah. do that. I think you're right about that. And then the randomness of the thing makes sense. I mean, it's okay. Like we're kind of we're kind of like exploiting the game a little bit. But yeah. But at the end of the day, you, you that's, that's gaming, right? You got to do what you can to win. This one has great music. Just leave it playing for a bit. So this is bounce. And this one's uh, an abandoned one as well. This one was declared as a demo version of oh. the game. I'm not aware that it was released on cart, but I may be mistaken. Let me see. Oh my god. I suppose this said he hasn't been on in two months. Years ago, he said he didn't have much lifetime left. Oh. I was helping Wink Dot. Who's Wink Dot? I don't that know. was the programmer of the last game. Wow. Yeah, so maybe Did maybe we, it was true. That's in that's insane that we might have just played um, a game by somebody who passed away. And it's really sort of sad that we that the game's about rescuing people to bring them back to a mothership. You know, there's something it, it eerie is. about that, man. It is. Well, hopefully he's okay. I hope and he's just okay. In recovery yeah. or if anyone some hears time. from him or anything like that, let us know on online. Yeah. Let him know that we liked his game. Yeah, and I'll I'll. Uh, I'll post to him that we played it so he can see it. Maybe he's not. Maybe he'll come and watch the video of it. Yeah, and yeah. Maybe not talk, but just watch the video. It should be great. And yep. I hope that you're doing okay. Yep, hopefully. <clears throat> so this one is called Bounce Work in Progress by Fabri Fabrizio Zavagli in 2003. So this oh. is way back. Okay, so, okay, yeah. That's, uh, that's what um, that tells He also made a game called Space Treat, which I have not played. Mm. Um. <clears throat> So this one is obviously abandoned a long time ago, yeah. 15 years ago. Um, but games have taken longer. Like some games take a long time to make, but this one hasn't had an update since 2003. Uh, description, Bounce is a new Atari 2600 game being developed by Fabrizio Zavagli. Uh, in Bounce, you control a ball bouncing on a checkered playfield, as everyone cool. can see. Uh, where your goal is to destroy all the tiles by bouncing on them without falling down. Different tiles also have different properties. Some force you to move in a given direction by the, the arrows. Uh, some give you a higher jump, and others cannot be destroyed. Mm. You can download the public demo of Bounce by blah blah blah. The same demo is shown at the Austin Gaming Expo in 2003. Uh, it features blah blah. Once finished, it will feature a PC-based level editor, already done, that will allow users to contribute their personal levels. Very cool. That I don't think that was ever no. done. This, As far as I know, this has never been put on cartridge. This is only the demo version, so there is no full version available. When I don't know. I was just doing the math real quick. When this was uh, uh -oh. done, I was 11 years old. Oh, boy. <laughs> During so you could have played this at I 11, you know? Uh, unlikely, but <laughs> um, yeah, um, you would be like Atari what? I'd be like. <laughs> Let me see uh, if Arena Foot's spreadsheet has any m more info on this game. Okay, cool. Maybe it got Maybe. put on cards. Um, I'll get, let's go for it. Oh, is that you doing that? Is it? Now press down. No. Too oh, late. it forces me to like. Oh, I see. Oh, I have to somehow kill all of them. Yeah, you got to get rid of all of the kind of <coughs> checkered blocks the arrows force you in that direction oh i see and the solid ones you can't get rid of oops how do i do this so 
So... Bounce, bounce, bounce. 2003. No, that's it. This is all there ever was. <laughs> back, to, back from 2003. Uh, uh... This is weird because, like, I don't know how this is possible. Because, like, if, for example, if I go upright, you're it's, gone. It's done. Yeah, but I have to kill all of them, right? Um, you have to kill sixteen. Um, I have played this a little bit. Oh, I see. So you don't have to kill all of them on this level, even though the instructions say you have to kill all. Of them. You have to kill the number that is on there. So, oh, so those those are like trampolines. They eject you over one. So there. Oh, I you got see. Them all. So now I think on this level you do have to get almost all of them or all of them. Cause see like yeah you can't get all of them on this. <clears throat> like this you have seems to get like twenty two. Right? Yeah definitely. That'll get you the most. Yeah exactly. Go down up. Oh, oh see, no no no! I, I tried, but it's not super responsive. It's like so you kind of have to, or you can hold it. As well, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I see. That makes, so that makes it a little bit easier in case it misses your input, possibly. So you have six more to get. Perfect. You haven't even had one to spare. Oh, God, okay. This one, I think you have to get all of them, or at least. Good solid amount. I see. I'm understanding what how this game works. <laughs> I mean, as, as much as one. It's like can. it's a puzzle game, really. This is Tanya would love this. Yes, definitely. I think you do run out of lives though, which is unfortunate. One more to get. Yeah, this one is a board clearer. What? I think I got it. Did you miss any? I think you got it. What the hell? Okay. Well, try that again. I'm pretty sure you got it. You were bouncing towards it. Maybe I just didn't. Cause this is like I don't know how else you do it. You know? Yeah. Well, it's, you didn't lose a life, so. Can you go like nope. there. There. Okay. Oh, oh my that's god. Weird. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> This one has a ton of arrows. Oh my god. So you kind of have to pre-plan out. Oh, yeah, you're done. I'm done. So you only have to get one. Okay, I was doing not terrible. You only have to get that one in the bottom left. Oh, I see. So, I think the easiest way to do this one is backtrack. I think. Then... Hold on, I think I... You can't steer. Oh yeah. You have to. You have to go with the arrows. So down, left, oh, down, I see what's down, going on. and then it's going to push it's off the screen. Off. Yeah. I thought I saw it. Let me just like. Let me just. The only it. ones that you can change directions are the trampolines, which are the. I think this is it. The round ones. No, no, no. That's no. not it. It seems like it. Because you only have four directions to start. Oh, I see. I'm done. Rip. <laughs> no, not yet. Still happening. Oh, yeah. no, the trampolines bounce you over one. I so see. I think that was the right direction, though. Because all the other directions are death. So up is the only one. And you don't have a choice till now, which you have to go to the right. Otherwise, you die. Now you do have a choice. Oh, I think you got it. And then over to the right. Oh. And to the left. Yes! You did it! Oh, I recognize this. So you have to get... Oh, I think this is ten. just the same thing. Yeah, this right? should be easy. You only have seven No, I think this go. is the first one, right? Is it? Yeah. Is this the first level again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no, have we played the whole demo? Oh, what? Oh, what and it's just plays the first one. 
happened? You didn't die. No, I think I think because <laughs> I think we, something glitchy. I about think because we got to the end of the demo. Yeah, it just loops. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is the same one again. Oh, level three. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I thought this was longer, <laughs> gonna be longer, but it is just a demo. Right? Yeah, I mean it's a cool concept. Yeah. Oh, oh I wish we had more. Oh, I played the hell out of this. Tanya would do a marathon of this game, and you don't lose lives because it shows that there's three oh, lives at the up. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I played. I played almost every level actually. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> actually, I did play all the levels before on the. I thought there was more. Um, excellent concept. Oh, this would be, yeah. If you, I want all the levels. I like, know, you just make, but that's the tough thing about a game like this, right, is that it's such a designer thing. It's like designing, like, 90 Sudokus. It's like... <laughs> it is, yes. But he was going to put out um, a designing program. Oh, that so would be that, perfect. So the communi community could make levels, and he could just put all those Hell into yeah. the game. And then people could do the work for him and, you know, give a list of thanks and he's done. Boom. Genie. Yeah, I play this thing for ages. Yeah. Especially should... if you don't, you lose lives. If it could just be a pure puzzle game. Yeah. You're just working your way through the puzzles. But it looks like he planned, like, you see three lives there. Yeah. That's not, I don't think that's a good way of doing a, a huge puzzle game. No, it's better to have them kind of like, just have a bunch of different ones. You could have yeah. different difficulties. Yeah. I don't know if these do anything the game. No. Oh, what? Oh, look. Oh, it lets you like pick the Randomly one. Randomly almost. And brought okay. us back to level one, level three, level four. Yeah. <clears throat> the era one is really cool. That, that was a really, really interesting. It's almost like all these design ideas. Yeah. He was kind of showing off what you could do with the game. Yeah. But he's had, <clears throat> he's had no updates to this game, no full release, never been put on cart. This is it. This is the only oh, thing that bad. exists of this game is this demo. This is the kind of thing too, man, that would be like a perfect app game as well. It's just totally like you're hanging oh, out yeah. on a bus and you're just... Like, oh, I'm up to level 8, up to level 9. Like you work your way through, yeah. you come back to it later. You can just pause, you know, you stop on that level. Download DL like DLC it. for more maps. <laughs> yeah, and then you could right. also do one where it's like if you wanted to have higher difficulties, you move faster. So it becomes oh, almost like a yeah. reflex thing, too. That's true. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're going to go back backwards. Oh, my God. To Monkey King again. I love it. This is a first in this show that we will be playing a game that's been updated during, while we were playing. Based on based on uh, a suggestion that from was made, the chat from the chat that was made during the game. So that's that's crazy. This is great. So let me load on the new uh, version of Monkey King. Cool. I'll tell you too, it was so funny. My mom came to visit and she was asking yeah. me what I was doing. And I, and I mentioned that I was on the show just hanging out. <laughs> and she immediately was starting to like, she was like, oh, can I see a version of it? And I'm like, mom, you're, it's literally me just playing games. Like, well, I don't know why you would want to watch this. She's like, no, but I want to support you. I'm like this. But then she started going on about everyone who she thought should be on the show. And immediately I'm like, I'm like, what? it's such a mom thing. She's like, That's you know, your funny. sister, she should be on it. I'm like, I'm like, you're immediately entitled to like <laughs> it's just so funny within 30 seconds people she's are just entitled to like tons of ideas she's like oh yeah and you know you could play these kinds of games i'm like this is not my show she's like <laughs> so and, and she wanted her boyfriend to be on it and i'm like what i'm like within uh, minutes wow. i was like i was like yeah that's not gonna happen bombarded by all this yeah. suggestions i was like that's the last time i tell you what i do with my spare time <laughs> That is pretty funny. Well, she's enthusiastic. That's, she's she's so that. on board. Okay, so we've got the game loaded. And I just wanted to say, I went to a, a concert last night. Um, the headliner was called Power Glove. Oh, yes. And have you heard of them? Or you just like the name? No, I just know. I know about the Power Glove. It's, it, Power Glove is a, an NES add-on that you could control the games by, like, twisting and turning your hand like this for up, down, left, right. And there's also a full control panel on the arm as well, like zero, one, two, three, four, and the controls. It was terrible. I, it I was, know. It I... was cheaped down to nothing. There's like a documentary on it you can watch online. The original concept was amazing. Fully articulated, every finger yeah. it read. 
and but that was like hundreds of dollars to produce that so they reduced it down to just like turning and oh. then it was just buttons on there i guess it's a sort of what like they kind of went back for the wii right to to, to try and do yes. like what they were thinking yeah, very similar i know there's a there's a guy on there's a youtuber who i used to watch way back called the angry uh video game nerd and i remember still make stuff in early days <laughs> when he was doing it he had a whole bit about the power glove yes. he made a joke like there was like a uh, i can't remember the game but it was like a flight one and he was like <laughs> oh we'll just try this on the on the power glove and then he, like it, the narrative was that he ended up being able to beat yes, it with the power with glove, the power glove. So that's why i know about that the power funny. glove but yeah. um, I liked his early stuff a lot, and he he's he. I guess he does still do stuff, but he oh, had yeah. a he had a real cool string of like 30, 40 episodes yes. and the Simon's Earth. Quest and all. Yeah, this. it it was a little different in the beginning. He still does it now that they've evolved differently. It's a lot yeah. higher production value. And he and... did a feature film, I think. Yeah, it was interesting. I'd love to see it. I did. Did you? Mm. Okay, that way that's the James <laughs> review. Yeah, I don't want to say anything bad because no. I know how much work. Oh, goes into any film, especially a feature film, and he was so excited for it. Mm -hmm. And and his super hardcore fans seem to you know enjoy it. There's a lot of little um, you know Easter eggs in there, nods to things. But oh, it, it's I think it he needed to go and re rewrite it a bit more. Yeah, I think that the production value was fine. It was exactly what I expected for that because on his show the production value is super cheesy. But that's the charm like, of it. Exactly, it's like... and and it had a good plot, like for, for that what it kind was, of, for yeah. what it was. But just the the writing, the jokes, the the dialogue was just rough. It was hard to sit through. I did watch yeah. the whole thing, and I I know because that's what I spent all my work doing is trying to figure out how to write features, and I know yes. that that is just it's really hard I think to make that transition from like feature filmmaking is its own beast, and then yes. making sustaining like, that whatever you're doing for oh, yeah. ninety minutes that's tough it's its own craft it's yeah. so challenging and then doing and i think a lot of people struggle to go from that youtube to feature a lot of people have yeah. tried it and yeah and like, they um, work their way up to it and then it's like oh that's an uh, embarrassment this is, this is a like a quick little call out but i just watched eighth grade which is bo burnham's film and i oh, loved it i loved it that it was, looks very interesting and that's a dude who like but i mean but he's he was doing night like 60 minute like netflix specials on stage so yeah you know he has an honor but he was that's a guy that he knows went how to from, sustain for yeah, a long period of time. I think one of the only YouTubers I know who went from like kind of web content, but then he, but it, I think it was just a progression of his career. It's very hard yeah. to make that transition. But... Yes, it is. Anyway, back sorry, to this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Power good, Glove. Good sidetrack. <laughs> um, so there's three bands. The first band was called 2600. Yeah. Like oh, a 20 good. SIX 100. I was hoping it would, oh, bounce developer Rasty last uh, uh, active almost a year ago oh. that's another bad thing um i was hoping it would be chiptune but it was um a retro wave music which i also yeah. love and um so he was amazing really really good had a bunch of video in the background of video games not many 2600 for one of his songs he had like atari yeah vcs stuff in the background most of it was 80s it was all 80s era synth is, kind of stuff yeah, yeah it was yeah. all synth synth wave like modernized 80s synth right very good stuff uh second one was runaway 4 which was like all covers of video game music they played three songs each of them was 15 minute long songs <laughs> there are montages of there was a shooter montage and i think it was a platformer montage was the first one and the last one is a pure Castlevania yes. <laughs> oh, montage of like all the Castlevanias, all the best songs from Castlevania. They were amazing. It was a four piece. It was all live instrumental, two guitarists, a keyboardist and a drummer. It's really good. And then Power Glove, which was a metal yes. video game band. Um, man, 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 man. <laughs> yeah it was heavy there was a pretty good mosh pit going on that's good it was at the rickshaw oh, of course rickshaw where is the metal. place man yeah, that's, that's where metal goes that's a, just a vancouver local spot yeah uh it was an amazing concert yeah yeah so i guess check them out eh? yeah Favorite. definitely if you like video game music check out all well yeah the runaway four and power glove especially especially if you love metal they are awesome and they're such fun guys on stage are smiling and playing along and yeah 
But it is time to go back to Monkey King. Oh, 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 oh. Let me now put the wrong screen on. Oh, there no, we go. Buddy. I just sat on your cat's paw. Oh, guy. no. He's cool with it. So version 0.82, as you saw there, the updated version. You ready? Oh, 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 dude. Oh, he's got it on both sides. He does have it on both sides. He said he was only having it on one. I guess he meant separate ones. Stop it. Psst. This is James's cat. Oh, that, you see the the little dot moved itself up so I could get it. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Oh, I screwed it up. That is cool. Psst, 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 psst. That's amazing. Yeah, I guess in one coconut he did. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop chewing on things. <laughs> this, it's an added layer to the game when your cat's <laughs> trying to eat your controller. Yes, it's, it's just adds that extra difficulty. Oh, it just falls on the left side of the trees. Oh, I thought he meant just on the left uh, side. Like, oh, oh my God, he's coming for me. Oh, I think, did, he, did you get hit by it? The coconut? I, I think I did. Okay, I'm gonna get hit by it. Oh, him. that's cool. No, that works. It took oh, a while. Oh, see, look, we got it. We got the feature. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It took more than a team. That's cool, though. Yeah, that is awesome. Like, it totally works. And then as as it ramps up, we can get more of them. Yes. Yeah. It and, took a little while for the second. Well, you one. know what? Maybe not, because if you're go when the screen speeds uh, up, it'll be much more. It's difficult. gonna add another layer. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, that's really, really, really good. That's a great add-on. Up. It's getting. Did he? Did you change the ramp up speed? Oh, oh my, my god. god! Why is it on that side? I sacrificed myself. Oh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! I hit again. Oh, see, that's cool though, because it's, it's like, what do so you do, hard right? To dodge it, and it seems to come at the worst time. And this gives this an amazing reason to have number two. Number two yes. is so much more tactical now. It is. Oh my god! I moved at the wrong time. I was trying to get number two for to try. He probably didn't implement it yet to clear out the, the coconut, but maybe. So now I've got two. Yeah, let's wait for that coconut. Yeah. We'll see. I'm going to play really safe. Oh. Yep. Yep. See? Oh, awesome. my God. Awesome. Oh, coconuts are hard to see on the stream. Yeah, they're flashing, I guess. They're, they're easy on us. Oh, no, you can see it. Like, yeah, it. but uh, on our screen, they look totally great. But I can see yeah, on stream, it's... Uh, a little flashy, yeah. 25% oh. chance for it to drop. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I love we just that got two in a row. I love that there's an like an RNG Random. element. That's yeah. I always love that in a game. Yeah. Yeah, and see, now I'm like, I'm sitting on two, right? Especially if the yes. screen starts speeding up. you tried out. Up. There, do it. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, and there's Great. nothing you can do, especially in like a situation like that. Yeah, oh, you see. were gonna die. I only had one ball, so it's oh, so it's flickering back and forth between the two. So you could offset it a bit. Um, looks like we're getting the same branches now. Didn't we get different branches when we were playing before? Like, or is it like totally even? Am I remembering wrong? No, I, we had always... slightly we had slightly different ones, I think. I don't know though. Oh man, I just got we just got wailed. <laughs> I swear we had different branches, but now they're the same. I'm gonna load up the old one. He said should be even. I mean, I guess he'd know. Uh, <laughs> I like them. Oh, wrong one. Uh, I think different is more interesting. Yeah. No, they're always the same. Yeah, I guess we, okay. we were just... But it is even. It's like, no, you're both getting the same exact difficulty. Yeah, even... Because I swear that the dot was in a different spot and harder for you to get sometimes. Maybe because you were hitting branches. That's why I was... Yeah, because I, I, was, I was an idiot. You were, you were I was a lunatic. That's why I oh, thought... Sorry, just like... Okay. Let's go back to the coconut then. Coconut. <laughs> Just wanted to verify that. Same in the old one too, yeah. Okay. Oh, Coconut goes right away. And that's also cool too for like even tactics. Yes. 
Yeah, it's like, no, it's even. Oh, see, I can't see. Everybody gets the same chance to get those dots. The dot was glitched in point eight one. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. I think that when you hit it too, it kills it for both screens. So oh, it's it like, does? so you, in some ways, so that also you give the per other person an advantage, oh. and you. See, mine didn't clear out. My right hand side branches are still there. Oh, sometimes it does. Mmm. Which is very interesting. Hmm. So it isn't completely even. Like it's not forcing itself to be even. Ooh, three. I'll give myself an extra life. Somebody. Oh, coconut. coconut. Yeah, when that starts falling on both sides, that's going to be... That's going to be intense. So if you offset the coconut, you won't be flickery. Even though it looks fine locally. I, I don't think there's any problem with the flickering. Oh, yeah, if you wanted that. to keep it absolutely even. For both people. Ah. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, what do you do? Oh, see, that's cool. Like, if we, I could have sped up quickly and then went around it but it's like but that's where like that but, two is so important it adds yeah. like a new level and you might just i like too that the, you can just be screwed like there's just yeah, like, it's like no too that, and that adds a level of just challenge to the game which i really uh, appreciate i gotta stay high in the branch get the dots oh, see, oh you went for it like an idiot <laughs> Oh. oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, dude, I got coconut, and then I got scared. <laughs> scared by the coconut. Ah, run! Oh, uh, see ya. No, pointless. Pointless to go for those. It's too... Oh, the coconut got me. But I got the dot after, so... Uh, oh, I got it. Oh, you <laughs> did it. You did it. I'm oh. playing more like you now. Yeah. There we go. Extra life, please. Oh. Oh! Wasted them oh, look at this. instantly. Oh my god. That was just... That's rough. One more. Get a life. Yes. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, Ooh, no the way. How the tables have turned. It's kind of cool because you can kind of talk to the other person oh. about the play field and they're yeah. experiencing the same play field. It's like, no, I'm not going yeah, for that. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> so oh. no dot where there's a coconut? No, there's a dot and coconut at the same time. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah I saw that at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Well, good good update. That's exactly... Huge, massive. Oh, that's so cool that we got to have it Oh yeah. during stream we got to try an update <laughs> so that is a first that is, that is some that fast is... programming yeah good get work. that coconut in good work oh so some good uh good games today i think they were all lots of fun um obviously monkey king monkey. great two-player game oh probably Tons of i would say the best two-player game we've we've gone so far and in, in the when it comes to uh the homebrew yeah this is right up there you got to play it with two people it's just like yeah one player's kind of practice and it's, and it's be fine and we can through. totally try the two versions like let's see how high a score we can get yeah cooperative yeah or we which can, we didn't do yeah we'll do that in the next iteration yeah which would be really fun and it's neat that like it's something you can and it is also it's a very like ruthless game you think you're doing well and all of a sudden bam bam yeah so now and that coconut is just great yeah it adds such a big element to it uh lost dungeon quest uh app shy um i think with some tweaks that could be take a decent game decent concept to a, a good a great which game. one again sorry lost dungeon quest yeah yeah absolutely like the ramping up a couple bonus items totally will help a lot be amazing yeah. even just those that, that simple thing of just that feeling because it's better so, progression yeah progressing. yeah and it's also i think so important for the gamer to kind of to have a bit of a chance to sort of like get the lay of the land and there's nothing yes. wrong with that because if you're really good at the game well then you can easily speed up kill them as fast yeah. as you want yeah, and, and run through the first levels really quick. And that's what you want. You don't want to be... I find that with some games where the early levels are easy. Yeah. And, you have, and you're starting your game over and you're like, oh, I have uh, to go through all these slow, easy levels. But that one, you just go bam, bam, bam. bam you bam, can bam. run through it really quick. 
And then for the first time you log on, if you have a bunch of time, you can kind of slowly figure out, oh, this is yeah. what this game is, you know? Yeah. It's, it's kind of... It's a, a tutorial almost because it's so slow and easy and then up and then if you get upgrades for for items yeah even that'll better. be a lot longer sword stronger sword, sword totally um and just make uh, it harder air like arrows i mean it depends how that starts yeah. things get really complicated but that would be cool like having limited arrows totally like oh you got five arrows great now you can shoot through walls for a short period of time I don't think that would be instead of a, a sword. It's yeah. a moving sword, which is an arrow. You like know? what I would do that if it were me is I would have it be just so that like the you there's a chance to drop like five arrows. Yes. And that you like hold down the button and it like fires and that way and it uses oh, up the thing. And, so you could do either or. Yes, yeah, so you can. Yes. S just tapping is the sword. You hold it down, it fires, and yeah. that would make things and, and especially with much limited. more tactics. Yeah. And then like when you beat the tougher people, there's a better chance to drop the arrows yes. and. So, simple things like that yeah. just add like huge dimensions and you're also you're getting closer to the original game which did have arrows yeah so there you go yeah um orb fun game you know great graphics great graphics oh my god um it gets hard pretty quick totally it's a little i think it's just a little too easy to cheese yeah and it's like it would just be some simple things like the the guys that are going like only on the same plane if instead you had them go even at like a like a zigzag moving or moving up and down yeah. then and then make it so it's locked in so every screen has its own yes you could still and farm it, it easier at the beginning than harder as it gets further along yeah and um yeah you could still farm it or even have the players spaced out like once you've cleared but you have to use up memory yeah that's and the atari the doesn't have a lot of memory but that's even the problem. but as you said even just locking the screens like okay we got to yeah. go through i got to get through the meteor scene because the whole point is to go deeper in yes so even if you can cheese it a bit it's nice if if it's a bit of a challenge to get through each yeah. one make the meteor the last one or you know so it because if you make the meteor the first one, it's like, oh my god, I'm dead instantly. And you could even have it where, like, um, uh, and the later and the later ones, every level has a ship that tries to steal from you. Yeah. Amongst the meteors, like you could kind of really or ramp it on up. On the whole way back, they're trying to steal from yeah. you. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, yeah. No memory problem with DPC plus. So he actually he did use DPC plus. So he had lots of memory to be able to go. You've gotten guys from these levels. Yeah. So he they could have done that. Um and bounce obviously it was amazing, amazing. So concept much fun. of a game the demo so limited never released a full version um I'll um, send him the video yeah. so maybe he'll at least release the full version or if he's or, got anything or yeah. or just the code like how he's been doing it so that people can kind of build their own because yep uh, build their own levels and release like a level at a time here's yeah. bounce level 23 it's it's kind of like it, it it feels like a game like minesweeper where it's just so universal you just can just hang out you know yeah you're bored at lunch just play a couple levels like it's such a kind of classic game you can just always come back to yeah oh thanks mr fix yeah it was uh, some good games to yeah, me yeah i always try stuff. and pick some good game most games out there are good yeah i've, I've found sometimes i've written them off just by looking at them going oh, mm. the graphics are so rough in that one it's like you look at like this this one the monkey king it looks such sim so simplistic like yeah. so blocky and you have these like rat rat kind of things that yeah, don't look like, like monkeys what is this? but no and, but it's like no this is tactically an amazing two player game it's don't just, write it off because it's the it's reminder blocky. that games are all about just you know it's it's like soccer is just a ball on a field and people yeah. and there's it's a billion dollar industry <laughs> it's yeah. like you it's can not, represent that with blocks it's not complicated terms. it's yeah. about good smart stuff and like the coconut and everything yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Wade Rain. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, thank uh, you the for programming guy. the game, man. Yeah, so, yeah, got to get back to work. Well, thanks for hanging out <laughs> with us. Um, yeah, and uh, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you. And all the subscribers uh, that uh, donate money. Mr. Fix, Soundtrack78, Jeffrey2123. And everybody for watching and also watching on YouTube later. Hell yeah. And subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss anything. And also... Check out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so you can keep up with what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, about it. Oh, and let's check out some upcoming shows in this last minute uh, before you run away. 
We've got some really interesting upcoming shows. Tomorrow is actually an impromptu show because I can't do it Friday because I'm filming right. with this dude. Um, so we're going to revisit a bunch of games because it's a um, my friend who has never played any Ooh. homebrew games before. So we're going to go That's for... That's going to be kinda, a good show. Yeah, it's kind of best of show. Um, and so he told me what kind of games he likes, so I've kind of tailored it to the, the game. He loves Atari 2600. He's just never played any new games, all the old ones. So that's tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make it the same time, um, 11 a.m. It's a good time, it's, man, It seems for... like a good time for Europe. Um, we had a lot of people on today, yeah. which is good. Um, so on the 29th, oh, and then, yeah, 24th, I'm away. So next Wednesday, oh, we're going to play Blinky. I actually, what what's the date for next Wednesday? That's the... uh, 29th Wednesday. Oh, I'm going to have to miss that because I'm in oh. Alberta doing a uh, documentary. But then uh, I'm but I'm able to come back for the rest of them. I'm sorry, okay, James. Okay, so we'd be doing it with Tanya. That's fine. So it'd be Blinky goes up. We're going to go for 100% complete. It's, oh. We made it to level 3, so we're going to try and finish it off. Uh, and then Star Castle Arcade for the last Friday of the month. Ooh. Going for the final high scores. We did pretty good, but some people have been like trouncing our scores now. That doesn't surprise me. That's a tough game, man. It's tough. That's probably one of the toughest uh, homebrew ones I've played easily. Yes, it is so tough. That and Mappy. <laughs> yeah, Mappy's tough. Oh, and I got uh, sent the final screen for Mappy. Yeah. All, like, the colors on the M-A-P-P-Y are all different colors. Be before it was layers of colors, now it's each letter is a different color. Cool. So they're making it like the arcade. So they're getting closer on Mappy to release, which is going to be at Portland Retro Video Game Expo Ooh. on cartridge. Very exciting. Uh, some other ones planned. There's a Ladybug Homebrew Tournament Round 4. That'll We'll be playing that. That's a oh, fun I'll game. I'll be there. Uh, and then a Stratagems Deluxe, Gizzle Wap and the Strange Red Tree, and Chunk Out on the 14th. What's the date for the final Star Castle Arcade one? Uh, that is on uh, Friday at 7 p.m. Is this the 31st, though? Yes. Shoot, I'm still away, damn it. Because I come back on the 1st. Because if oh. I were here, I would come in and do the Friday show. Yeah, sit in on that. Oh. But, I, but I can't, because it sucks. Yeah, and the 1st, it's over, so yeah. I have to get in those scores. Um... And then on the 28th, uh, which is a Friday as well, the last day of Ladybug, trying to get in those last scores. You'll be in the first round. I'll definitely be there. But you might be for the Friday, too. <sighs> um, then we have, whenever it comes out, Champ Games New Game, which is getting very close, I've heard. So their new uh, homebrew game from Champ Games, those are the guys that do some pretty awesome games. Um that are doing Mappy, that did Scramble, Damn. that did um, uh, a bunch of other ones. Now you can look them up. Um, then we're doing the all hack oh, episode. Which day is that? Don't know. I have to wait for the actual cartridge. Let to me come know. In. I, I want to kind of sit in on that day. <laughs> that'll be that'll be a fun day. Um, he just sent off the actual cartridges on Monday. So that should be coming within a week or two. So that'll be fun. And then we're going to do an all puzzle special game that includes 2048, 3S, and a bunch of other ones. Um, and then we've also got a trackball hack special, a two part Ooh. special. These are games that have originally were game made for joysticks, but in the arcade they were trackballs. And I've got a trackball. Ooh. So these are hacked to work with the trackball. Um, so I don't have the names of them, but there's so many games that it's going to be spanned over two, two episodes. Um, so that will be... And Thomas Yench did most of the conversions for those. Amazing. Which is Thrust. Um, uh, oh, a whole bunch of things going on here. Uh, I sent James the 2K demo title Mappy. Yes, I was supposed to send... Um, the the graphics. Perfect. Um, maybe I'll show that the next episode because I didn't put that in today. The Mappy logo took me half a day. Oh <laughs> Thomas my Yance. god! Wow. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. It's very wide and making things wide with detailed graphics is That's hard tricky. on the twenty six hundred. Uh, sent you some Star Castle facts and game ideas. Yes. So I'll be reading that. Thank you, I supposed to. I saw that. So we'll be reading that out on the game day on um, 
uh, the 31st. Perfect. So I think we are done for today. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on, on the screen. <laughs> and thank you for everybody for tuning in. I supposed to Mr. Fix, Thrust 26, Cool Crab, Wade, Wade Rain. Rain. Um, oh my god, some uh, Dino 2600. I know there's a bunch from Thunkist, Arena Foot, cool, cool, cool Crab. I mean, cool we already crab. said that. Zero, Zero is cool. cool. Uh, was somebody else was there. There was somebody at the beginning. Dinoid Games? Did he change his name halfway through? Um, but oh, Impaler 74. Impaler 74. Yeah, he was right at the beginning. Said hi and then. That's okay. He probably maybe hung out. And... Yep. Just watched. So thank you everybody um, for hanging out again with us. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. I was almost going to say Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. Uh, for kind of a best of show um, with uh, Corey, my friend since 1989. Perfect. <laughs> so old school, long term friend. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks after yes. my shoot and then my trip to, yeah. to so Alberta. So you won't be seeing this guy for a couple of weeks, unfortunately. I'm sorry. When is the Portland Game Expo? That is in uh, late October. And I will be at Portland Retro Gaming, hanging out, buying games, playing homebrew. Doing some interviewing as well with some homebrew developers and homebrew distributors. Perfect. And then I'll put that video together and put it out on the channel so you can learn a bit, a little bit more about uh, homebrew and the process Amazing. of homebrew. Uh, making them and distributing them. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, but that's not for another uh, couple of months. But I'll give updates on that. Uh, will you ever come to Midway Midwest Gaming Classic? Um, I would love to go to a whole bunch of them. Yeah, you you need to. No, no, take I, off. she's ten minutes late, so oh, it's actually good. perfect. Okay, it's good. good. That works so well. I would love to go to um, a bunch of uh, expos, and I was actually invited to really go to an expo um, early on, and I went. I don't have anything to say yet. Yeah, <laughs> but now <laughs> the a, show's to, starting to. Yeah, to do a, a talk, and I would love to do a talk on homebrew games. But I have to build it up. I'd probably do a video first. Yeah, good like idea. Like do a video series on homebrew games and then base my talk on that video series. So maybe late next year I would be prepared. Like how how to make a game. Not not like in depth how to make a game, but Just the, the intro. steps. Yeah. Like intro to homebrew. That's what I would do. Like start to finish. Like yeah. these are the programs you use to make a game. Here's the basic limitations of a 2600 of the 2600. Here's the community. Here's like all the support that's there. This is how you get it on a cartridge. These are the distributors of 2600 cartridges or you can release it on ROM. And just, you know, just do the whole run through. Give like a 101 yeah. homebrew 101. And I know a lot of developers do like how to program for the 2600 so there's lots of those like daryl spice jr does a, a he, very he'd be good, the dude man <laughs> yeah he does a great intro to making homebrew but mine would be more about yeah you've got like fluff oh you got it now um it's, it's rough yeah, it's there. <laughs> i would be like an overview of homebrew itself um at least yeah for like 2600 and television coleco and look at all that uh, look at Retrovision Demo Party Talks for inspiration. Thanks, excellent, Thomas. excellent. I'll take a look and at Mr. that. And Mr. Fix says he'd be there if you, uh, if if you, you went come. to the Where Midwest. Where is the Gaming Midwest? Plastic. Where is that? What uh, what city? If you could type it in there before we say goodbye, Mr. Fix. Um, I live near that expo. Well, that's convenient for you. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, the very northwest of the u.s and, and the then south. 100 kilometers yeah yeah north of that <laughs> that's right so milwaukee three, three, milwaukee okay i've never that's been to milwaukee. A, that's not impossible to go to that's where i uh, where's wisconsin <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's northern um northern? u.s i could okay. be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's like actually just like south of alberta this isn't um that show from uh oh, that youtube show where they analyze uh movies 
Yeah, the Red Letter Media. Red Letter They're Media from is from Milwaukee. Because yeah. they always talk about whenever there's a movie that comes up, this was made in Milwaukee. And I know They're that. They're really excited about it. And um, daytime TV. Um, yeah, see, North North Midwest. Oh, Cause, cause whenever, that's not impossible. Because I was in, I grew up in Edmonton, and we yeah. would always get Milwaukee TV. Oh, um, uh, that's not far at uh, all. Wisconsin, just because it's like they're right next to each other. Oh, I could go to that. Yeah. So. If that's just south of Edmonton? Oh, so south, Edmonton's quite north in Alberta, but it'd be just south of like Alberta. Well, that's even better. Yeah. Well, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's south of Calgary then. Exactly. Oh, that's easy. That's a, that's a day's driving. Um, no, north of Chicago, nothing. yeah. So oh, well, then I could, could go to like Milwaukee and Chicago at the same time. Be perfect. Never been to either of them. The, the, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, when is that? Um, maybe I can plan to go there and just hang out. But cool. you have I to go, run. and we got to go, and we're done this episode. Thanks for, I will come if you do. Dude, yes. Awesome. Um, so thanks for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Uh, check out all our stuff. Subscribe. All that goodness. All that goodness. And, um, yeah, see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I gotta log off. Press the buttons. Bye-bye. Yeah.